pants. Okay, got ourselves a knife. Mm, face mask. Kind of want to see what's going on over here. Maybe we get close and maybe seize, seize the right opportunity. I don't know. Oh, I see a zombie running, but... What else? It might have happened inside this building here. Or at the school. Oh, I thought... Oh, yeah. It's over at the school. Okay. There's a lot of zombies outside, though. They're gonna aggro on me. Um... Fuck. Yeah, there's one already coming. Let's get inside. Could patch up the pants and the jacket. See if we can get to that point where we're not dying from the cold. <laughs> so we're getting beat right now. Also need some gloves. Okay, okay, okay. Chunked on health. I guess we could. We did spawn kind of far away from Borkuda. We were getting our ass beat by a couple zombies here and there. Been cold the whole time. Just a denim jacket. Just a denim jacket turns out to be <laughs> the best find so far. What's going on, Scotchy? How you doing today, bro? <clears throat> and uh, it's nasty. Always good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, we got ourselves a BK. Let's see, is there any ammo up here? Oh, there's a shotgun too. Wait, we have slugs. All right, we got a gun. We're going in hot. Gotta get rid of the axe. Honestly, the knife is better anyway. It's fast, and you like considering the axe is just awful against zombies. Oh my god. Someone just got murdered. Oh, there's a dead guy right here, too. Oh, shit. Ain't looking good. Let's check this guy real quick. Shit, look at all this stuff. He's got a BK with a round in it. Zach, I need to see this. Fuck, it's empty. That guy must have taken the ammo. Uh. Stuck. Fuck. I was so close. I was so close. Oh yeah, he had gloves. Damn. Alright, when we go back out there, we'll grab the gloves. <laughs> I got too greedy. I was trying to get more of them in the room. Too fucking greedy. Although the first zombie I hit, I, that was not the one I was trying to hit. I was trying to get the one that I hit the second time. But you know, uh, the way the knife swings, the way the, you know, the curve of the arm, uh, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Going on doppelganger, big ranch, how's it going? <laughs> okay, we're just, we're fucking fish food. Jesus. Okay, well, we only got one bleed still, so... I mean... Get rid of the cam bounty with the points? For now, yeah, 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 I did. Um, but I think later, when I stream Tarkov, if I do, I'll probably have the cam on, like, between raids. He's still pumping off with the supporter.
Oh, maybe I'm walking so slow they think I'm one of them. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, what the? Why is my shit fucked up? What the hell was that? Wait, what? <laughs> There's so much happening right now. <laughs> Actually, based on the trajectory of the way that guy was laying down, he probably got killed by this guy. Did I just climb over that? No. <laughs> I just like backpedaled over it. Okay, let's see. Ooh. I'll we'll swap to the hat. Oh, uh, wait. Is the hat less insulation? No, it's... It's the same. Oh, wait. Zombies are actually going after somebody right now. They're all going inside. Uh, good. Compensator. Eh, I could wear that. Just, I mean, will it give us any warmth? That is bad insulation. But does that mean none? Or I don't even know. Yeah, it's just a typical day in Vorkuda, you know, just bodies over here, bodies over there. <laughs> it's, just, it's wild, man. It's always wild here. There's always someone just sitting up in one of those towers, too. Just just sucking their thumb, just sitting there waiting for people to come by, and they're just like, Oh, hey, bud, <laughs> I'm gonna line you up. There you go. Gone. Another fresh sheet back on the coast, once again. Just to run back and get killed by them again. Shit, we are cold right now. Do we have any food? Uh, we got some dog food. I think we should make a fire. It's cold to kill them. It's faster than anything right now. Let's get in here. We'll probably go up, go up all the way, check the roof, and then come back down the other side and start the fire over there. Oh, dude could totally be in the windows just watching me right now. Oh, this feels terrible. This feels terrible. I gotta, I gotta, oh God. Oh no, I gotta go. Come on. Oh, slugs. That's great. More slugs. That's what we needed. Oh, more slugs. That's, yep. <laughs> All right, let's go and get this fire going. food on there. We'll just use the flare. Make life easy. Alright. Get that thing out of here. I was gonna wait for the food to thaw out. So all right, opening a soda. Oh. Jesus. 
Oh no, it's going on. It's going down. It's going down. Wait, we got some buckshot. I feel like if anything, we're gonna get into like a close range encounter. So buckshot might be the play here. <clears throat> got another stick, but I I'm not gonna need more sticks for this fire. I don't think. Let's show we're red health. <laughs> oh my god, good thing we made the fire when we did. Jeez, okay. Let's pop a multivitamin. Prevent ourselves from getting sick here. Damn, we're fucked up. Cold day on the mosque. Very cold day. I don't know, maybe I gotta wear some socks instead of just wearing these tennis shoes barefooted. That'd probably help. I'm surprised that's not a clothing item in Daisy. Socks. Like, you got gloves. Uh, I guess gloves are the, like, the equivalent to shoes. Maybe. I don't know. Socks would be great. You have long socks, you could have short socks. You could even have those stupid little van socks with that uh go really low on your feet. Okay for girls to wear them, but have you ever seen a guy wear really, really small socks? It's just off putting. Alright, we got the dog food ready. Wait, another heat pack. Oh shit, there's a can of tuna. Off pudding. <laughs> trying to say I need to diet. Is that what's going on here, whiskey? I'm eating dog food. That's about as lean as it gets. Tiny socks are not it. Yeah. Yeah, not for me. Okay, we should probably, like, one more stick on here. I want to thaw out that can of tuna. I didn't even know that was in here. Probably should have checked the whole building before we made the fire, but I was dying, dude. Now I'm surviving. Is ready. We got the buff. Let's get out of here. I need, I need to taste a little bit of the tuna. You know, we can't just have dog food on our tongue. Like, that's just, uh, that's kind of nasty. Like, good protein, but uh, kind of nasty, alright? Hello, health. SKS murdering somebody at the dam. Okay, check. Perhaps we go to the school here and see if we can uh, kill somebody with some lead. A torch. Where's more food? Powdered milk. I don't think I've ever had powdered milk. Sounds kind of gross. I think there's somebody in the next building over. That guy with the SK is popping off. Hey, how's it going, Adrian? Wet milk all the way? I mean, yeah, I guess I guess you could say I like my milk wet. <laughs> is that a uh, that is that the right you know is that the right term?
Alright, well, let's just head out to the outskirts. The school seemed kind of quiet. I'm gonna go over here and uh, maybe we gotta heal up a little bit too. general over there. Thanks. Ooh, 7 kit. Screwdriver. Yeah, I don't need that. Okay. Uh, a stove, but no cooking pot. Uh, good. Let's get out of here. We gotta go check the other side. I'm sure there's gotta be like a beanie or something like that lying around. Oh. Oh, wait, you got a vest. Actually. Yes, 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 yes. Come to me, come to me. All right, at least we got a little bit of protection now. It's not much, but yeah, it's better than nothing. We need everything we can get right now. This way, if someone shoots us with a sporter, like in the chest or something, we probably... We will die eventually, but we won't die off one shot, I don't think. Like we would if we, uh... Didn't have it. Let's see. Um... I'm not looking good. I mean, there's a sledgehammer. Oh, there's a pink derringer. Wait, wait where is it? In the middle of the floor, though. And there's no shots in it. I mean, somebody else has touched it. 
I, I don't want that juju on me. I'm good. We got bad juju all over it. Got a good mask. Yeah, I mean, we could swap to the black, or it's kind of pointless, but let's do it anyway. Wait, there's a helmet here. Medium insulation. Oh, I can't wear it with the head torch. And I don't really have... I can't afford the space loss, so... Ooh. Yes. He's got ammo for the BK. It's like a mag for a CR. Yeah, it is. It's got one round in it. You see, I don't understand why you can't, like, when you put the Shamag on, like, I feel like it would be cool if it took up the... Jesus, dude, they're popping off. Um, if it took up the head slot, too. We're gonna go off towards that. I don't think we really need to stop off at Refugee. I mean, the odds that there's a Mosin there are very low, or even SKS, very low, but we got the BK, so we've got some range. We're not looking half bad. But those shots, though, we gotta, we gotta triangulate where that guy's at. Let's go ahead and fix up our jacket. Does the server have the backward cap mod? No, it doesn't. That'd be so cool though. That's definitely something I feel like should be in Vanilla Daisy. It is definitely very cool to see. Like when we played Deer Isle, we, were, we had the backward cap mod just walking around the streets. Koif is a weird addition with its no face mask allowed part. Yeah, you know, like, I know they're trying to do, like, European, like, camos and clothing and whatever, like, that just, that one seems a little weird. Or, or I should say, like, I mean, I say European because... This game has got, like, everything in it, dude. It's got, like, NATO guns. It's got Russian guns. It's got, you know, things from the from the Czech Republic. It's got things from, like, Ukraine. Like, it's got... <laughs> it's so random. But such a good game. be nice if it blocked that slot but also considered it quote-unquote covered yeah i can agree with that dude for sure like it, it like there's some like same thing goes for the motorcycle helmet technically you're fit i even fucking saw that before i walked in motherfucker well we got a gun to protect ourselves now so come on fucking bring it battery in the i'm fucking flashing holy shit that thing fucked us up oh my god Worth it. <laughs> Fucking bastard. That is evil. Wait, wasn't there a splint back at the outskirts? Wait. We don't even have anything to make a splint. Hmm. 
that's gonna be a problem. We got the sticks, right? But we don't have enough rags. So I think we're gonna climb we're gonna climb up to this truck and and the tank and pray that there's some clothing. I see boots. Wait, a dead guy, dead guy. Yes, yes, yes. This probably means there's stuff here. Okay, boots. And then we could cut up the suit jacket. And we can cut up the face mask. Four. Oh, that's, that's enough. Perfect. Perfect amount. Okay. Slap this bad boy on. That's awesome that we got the pioneer though. Silent little killer. Hopefully we can find a scope for it. And we got bones as well. Oh my god, there's a blizzard. Oh no. Dude, this is like the worst timing. <laughs> oh, he's no. I'm already dying. <laughs> I don't want to die anymore. We gotta crack the seat back. I mean, granted with the blizzard, like, perfect time to pass all the zombies, but at the same time, it's gonna be kind of rough, considering I don't think they're actually gonna be, like, deaf or, or blind, or whatever you want to call it, um, until the blizzard really kicks in, because the trees haven't started swaying yet. See, look at that. He already fucking knows. Not anymore. Oh, wait. Other zombies might come now. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't know, maybe with that guy... Oh, he they didn't react. I don't know, maybe they didn't hear it. Maybe the blizzard is kicked in. Is that, uh, that wasn't really that far away at all. Just make zombie noises. RP is being the crawler. <laughs> just, 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 just fucking crawling through the... Crawling through the whole area. <laughs> you know, I think you could actually crawl through every like i'm pretty sure you could crawl by anywhere and the zombie like and zombies wouldn't like aggro on you um but if you're voiping they'll they'll definitely hop on you like you'll, you'll be toast five five six would have been nice a yellow water and we have no water um we're probably going to be making a trip over to uh, the well over there. Smart thing to do, though, would be go over here, get a fire going, and thaw out the sprite that we have and the dog food. And then we'll make our way over to that well. Otherwise, I think we might be cutting it too close. We might dip into the red with the uh, thirst there. And the thirst is definitely a faster killer than the uh, the hunger is. All right, let's go ahead and drop off the pioneer. Let's grab a couple sticks. Don't need that.
Alright. See, do we got... Okay. We got a box right here that we could just pick the paper out of. Getting the lighter is huge. This is what's keeping us alive. Alright, let's go ahead and use up the sewing kit on the jeans. Oh shit, they're badly damaged. Yikes. Okay, well, it's a good thing we're fixing them now. Put the knife inside the boot. Jeez, there's so much chunk and ammo. Mostly slugs, of course, but. Packs toast. Grab this other stick. How did you break your leg? <laughs> There's a bear trap. Back of the guard shack. should have chucked that thing but you know what someone else has to go through what I went through so we just left it there for now be all right Throw that in the fire would be nice if we had more five five six and maybe a gun cleaning kit Got two shots left in this thing. Set 10 bear traps in an area and watch from a scope. I would have to like collect and like, <laughs> I would have to collect a bunch of bear traps and bring them somewhere. That would actually be pretty fucking great. Um, but that's what I would have to do. <laughs> Just spend a bunch of time off stream just collecting bear traps, stashing them somewhere. Wonder how long bear traps last. Zombie looks like he might be wearing some armor. Can't even tell. You looking kind of thick. Wait, no, I see pouches. Okay, yeah, no. It's not a play carrier. Or a press vest. Come on, then. Part of me wants to kill the general, but I don't want to waste these bullets. And I don't want to melee him because he'll aggro on me before I even get to finish him. And then more zombies will come. And uh, I don't think my health will and my speed will permit that. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I thought there was a blizzard happening. Is this thing not working? 
Oh, Jesus. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, no. surviving <laughs> oh it's a good thing they came like you know at different times there it makes things easier it's going out weeps a lot dude thank you so much for the two months of prom how you doing man well this gun doesn't have any more ammo in it ah, let's just take the bk out I'm surprised I haven't heard more. I feel like we might run into somebody over here. Legs still broken. I feel like the legs should be healed pretty soon. I feel like we've been fucking limping for a while now. Then again, we are red health, so we're going to be limping anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, he saw me before he crossed over the tree. Damn, I was banking on him running past. GG. <laughs> Shit, I meant to... Lax, can you come here real quick? We knocked one out. I mean, like, we didn't get to finish him. 
because we were too focused on the second guy and we were too low of health to make a run over there and finish him, but as ah, whatever. It's pretty rough circumstances for us. Where are we? I know we're at Varkuda, it seems like, but... Nice. Okay, so we got the little guard check over here we can check. Shit, there's a guy right there. Did he already check this? He might have already checked this. He totally did. Let's go beat his ass. Where'd he go? stick you got there. Oh shit. Oh man, I fucked your nose up. Oh. Oh, you don't look so good. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Dude had all the sticks. We had them all. Oh, hello. This is that insulation. I need to survive. Damaged. Damaged. Um, we'll just stick with the one we have on. I don't think it really matters. as well. We are a firefighter. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Good condition pants. Oh, wait. Matching good... No, 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 no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go in matching. That'd be a little too much. But I will take the helmet. There's a bag. Ooh. I'll take that over either jacket. He is so scoped to worn. I mean, that's, that's not terrible. Oh, a PU scope. That's a good find right there. It's not banged up or anything either. It's in nice, pristine condition. Uh, it says worn, but... Well, this is as close to pristine as we're getting, probably. Need shoes. Am 
light of ammo. We need some new kicks and we need a mask. Um, probably check out the bottom of this building. Might get lucky. Oh, dead Zombo. Oh, I thought that was a person just chilled in the back for a second. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just hanging out by the door. Just, uh, you know, just, uh, oh. Never mind. I mean, okay, so the firefighter pants are heavy, but they're waterproof. Like, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty damn nice. So, I don't know, man. I think, I think we keep the, the firefighter pants on for now. I got a blizzard right now. If there's anything good on top of this crane, I'm going for it. Looks like a box of ammo or something. We're going up. Can't stop me. Well, now we got a bodyguard. That's good. So far. Oh my god, it's a box of slugs. <laughs> of all things. Of all things. Slugs. <sighs> I mean, hey, it's something. But is it worth the climb? Eh, I don't really know. Was it worth ruining our brand, our brand new leather gloves? Not really. Ooh. Fresh new kicks. All right. Let's go check out the school. See what's going on over here. So sneaky. Hello. What are you doing? Uh, not much. What are you doing? Are you are you the double Mosin man? Oh yeah, do you want one? I I, be, I won't say no. Nice. What is on behind you? Oh, what's coming for me? Jesus, swinging. Nice. Where'd you find the Mosins? Um, top of apartment. Oh wow, you got two. Okay. Um, have you been inside the school yet? Yes. All right. Is there is there anything there worth getting? Probably not. Did you have a stash there? No, I didn't. I know a lot of people died uh, there though. Okay. I heard a lot of yeah, shots earlier. Yeah, I was excited. There was wasn't really... much. Okay. 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 Cool. Uh, what's your name? It's Grug. What about you? Grug? Mm hmm. Alright, Grug. My name's Mark. Mark. Yeah, like, uh, like your favorite actor, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, nice. Mark is fine. <gasps> uh, 
I like Joaquin Phoenix. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not a not not, not a bad actor. Is that your favorite actor? Oh yeah, sure. He's fine. He's fine. He's he's he's, he's your favorite. I mean, wouldn't he just be? Wouldn't he be more than fine? Oh, that's true. This, I. You know what? You know what? I'm a sucker for uh, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Okay. That's I valid. I didn't get the Tom Cruise thing. A oh, nice crossbow. Yeah, I don't have any bolts for it, but uh, pretty cool. There's a sporter mag right there if you want it. I mean, do you want the crossbow or? I don't care. There's a okay. scope here too. <laughs> How's uh, the mouse treated you today? Oh, you know, just getting cold, getting shot. You know, the usual. <laughs> oh, yeah. You muzzin' ammo. Shots. The scope of the Mosin, though. So, uh, what was uh, what was your plan? Uh, just to find some food. Still pretty fresh spawn. Gotcha. Yeah, me too. The bag over here or something. Zombies are kind of freaking out. Rug. An interesting name. That's like saying your name is Groot. I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him why Grug. Wait. It's a nice mask. Rug is from the Croods? Ah. Makes more sense then. Ooh, we got bolts for the crossbow. How many though? Oh, just one. Oh wait, no. Two. You okay, Grog? Yeah. Alright. Gotta adjust my... Mark, where are you? <laughs> I'm I'm in the other side. I'm going over to the next apartment, okay? We gotta find some food, both for me and Grug. Ah, who's in here? Uh, secret. Secret. I don't like secrets. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Some ammo. Oh, I ruined the bolts. <laughs> he had so many. No. <laughs> nice hat, though. And we got a cooking set up. 
This guy was in here just trying to warm up. <laughs> Came in here and ruined his day. Actually, wait. Let's take this bolt out. Can I grab my old bolt? There we go. Hey, yo, what's going on? Stoli. Water. Dude, the crossbow is like the best budget weapon. All right, where's Grug? Grug. Thanks for coming in with a brand new Prime, dude. Welcome in. Appreciate you showing that support. Alright. Let's see. Uh, Grug. Hello. Fuck. I lost Grug. Ooh. Quick little leather kid action. Wait, we got... Duct tape here. Let's go ahead and fix up our jacket. Look that guy fucked us up. Oh, wait a sec. Nice. We could actually, uh, fix up our gloves as well. Or we could wait to get better ones. I'm not really sure yet. You fixed the mask though, for sure. Oh, Sourdough Joe. Coming in with the tier one for 11 months. Appreciate you. Thank you for the consistent support, and, uh, yeah. Thank you. We could check up top, maybe serve some Mosin ammo. I feel like these rooftops are kind of better for Mosin ammo than the ones that are, uh... Sorry, that just, that sounds so weird. Here's a zombie walking in the grass over there, but it sounds so close. Um, and yeah, as I was saying though, I think these buildings are just better for Mosin ammo. I feel like I don't really find it on the short apartments. Someone had the supporter with the banana clip. Damn. They must have found like a MK2 or something. Not as bright of a bag. Just a bunch of backpacks. There's a guy over there. But our friend though. Suck. <laughs> Keep one inside. We don't have any ammo, but we got a nice scope. that in there. Sweet. We could actually make more bolts if we wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary. 
We really don't need the burlap sack, but just in case we do knock somebody out. Keeping it. I got a feeling that refugee camp might be the best option for us when it comes to getting some Mosin ammo. Well, actually, wait. Maybe the outskirt, like, tents, the little military encampments on the edge of the city. That might be good for us. Kind of upset about Grug. I don't know where he went. When I said I was going over to the other building, like... I didn't mean that I was, like, just ditching him. <laughs> I was just telling him where I was... Fuck. I was just telling him where I was going. I don't know, maybe he thought I meant a different apartment. Which of the West in the mosque? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Zombie just sitting there with his legs sticking out. No body armor. Pants. Eh. Morning, Roger. That's eh, going good. We just got started a little while ago and just, uh, just been, just been getting rolling. Jeez, that guy's pumping off. Alright, let's go check the other one real quick. See if we can find that ammo that we need. Could actually check this building real quick first. I feel like at the top of this, we're just going to find more bags <laughs> with our luck. Shit, we're hungry too? Oh no. Let me guess, there's just gonna be another bag over here, huh? Oh, more bolts. Actually, not terrible. I mean, we don't need this many bolts, but. Just saw somebody running down there. Well, if we had ammo for the Mosin right now. This guy. I'm with the crossbow from here. 
Okay, we could sneak up on him. Oh, he's dealing with the zombies over there. Shit, we're already chunked on health. I... What if it's Grug? Ah, uh, shit. You might be right. What was Grug wearing again? Oh, we know what Grug was wearing. That wasn't Grug. That didn't look like him. What the hell? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I just hope he's stuck fighting zombies over here or something. We'll get close and we'll we'll, we'll decide if it's a grub or not. Build the zombies. Where did they go after? Is that you, Grug? Fuck. Not nah, Grug, huh? Sneaky little bugger. You're not gonna get away. <laughs> you thought you could get away. <laughs> Give me those bolts. I think I saw his pants, <clears throat> like as I was walking by him. So I, I went a couple more feet and then I turned and shot. I don't need that scope. Probably don't need to pull that either. We do, however, need to thaw out all this food that we've got off the sky. But let's clear out the tower here first and then we'll do that. 
This breath gave him a <laughs> Wait. Why is that zombie? I did see his breath though. I will say. Try small Tyria soon. Uh, I played it when like the playtest first dropped. Um, I know Zero's got their own little thing going on with it. Um, I don't know, maybe at some point, but uh, for now, at least like today and the next few days, probably not. I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to do some Chinaris, you know. I've been uh, I've been craving a little bit of Chinaris now that it's no longer the winter mode. Because uh, OG Chinaris is, you know, still pretty cool to me. The winter aspect of it, I'm like, eh, whatever. The new bits on Zero is pretty cool. Oh, would you say, um... So I guess, like, Happy Bombs. I mean, he does this with all the maps that they host, right? He puts, like, extra POIs and stuff like that where he thinks there should be. I guess to add more to the map. Shit, now we're third. Okay, we gotta we, we gotta drop the cooking pot and do this real quick. Underground and stuff. Um, did he just figure out how to open up the underground that was supposed to be open, but wasn't for the play test? Updated airfield on Chinaris is nice. Yeah, I'm excited to play some Chinaris at some point. I did do Winter Chinaris for a little bit, um, so kind of know what it looks like now, but I feel like it'll look slash like feel different on Vanilla Cherno. Good to see you, cat. Hope you're doing well. What's going on, Mr. Kane? A little Vanilla Cherno one? Yeah, like, and I think they have helicopters too. So, you know, it'd be nice to get a helicopter on Shinaris. It's been a very long time since we've been able to do that. I don't know, maybe we'll check out Alteria just to see that, uh, that new underground that we haven't checked out yet. I just wonder if there's going to be more than that, you know? Like, if there's going to be more undergrounds and other things to do, you know what I mean? What head torch do we have anyway? Right, we got a we got a good one. But yeah, we'll definitely check out Winter Chinar soon because uh, pretty sure they've got the you know they got the Daisy expansion helicopters back in there and I don't know. There's something about flying around Chinaris with a Huey that 
just feels right. You know, like I it just it just make it reminds me of the good old days with Arma 2 Daisy when you would like get you you get all the parts together to get your Huey going and then you know you'd have you'd put all the ammo that you found like into the MG if like you have the right ammo type and you know it's, it's, most of the time they spawned with them full but if you found one that was already being used so you kind of had to work with but uh I, I just miss that man like and and it kind of sucks that the helis don't have the guns on the side like they did on an armor 2 daisy um but i'm sure eventually they'll get to doing that I mean, Daisy 2 or whatever is like years and years and years and years away, right? For a content thing, they'll probably try to release helicopters and make them stable. I mean, they've taken this long on cars. It's kind of been rough, but if they could get vehicles going, dude, oh, that'd be sick. Actually get the helicopters flying around and stuff like, you know, with that, with me, even if it, I don't know if they would add them back on again, but it would be cool to see them add the uh, MGs on the side again. What do they what do they have on there like m2 m240 bravos or something i just remember being in a uh, armor 2 daisy running away from a helicopter above me just fucking lighting up the forest all around me it felt like i was behind enemy lines and i was just like running for my life and i <laughs> it's weird to say but like, i i miss that feeling on daisy Ellie versus Kelly combat midair. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That as well. Instead of people just trying to ram each other, they could like actually try to shoot each other with the, with the MGs and the helis. Oh shit. Wait, I got a I got no way I'm on the Mosin. What the fuck am I doing? There's someone was here recently. Let's go over to the dam and see if they're still here. Uh, I got no idea, Gravy Man. I haven't tried Armor Reforger yet. It looked kind of flunky. Funky. <laughs> funky, I mean. Uh, when I looked at it, when it first, like, came out, so I didn't I didn't bother getting it. I kind of wanted to see more before I purchased it. Seriously? I think they fixed that in the next update where you don't get like instant bleeds off zombies hitting you for the first time. Because honestly, it's just goofy. That bolt ruined. I think it is. Alright, let's bandage up. There we go. Nice. General over here. Yeah, there he is. Goofy. I get him in the head? Oh, I got him in like the neck. Nine by thirty-nine. I need Mosin ammo. <laughs> Seventy-five 
762 by 54. Please. That's all I'm asking for. I saw a chamber in here. Someone was getting busy. of an official dev map being released this year. Yeah, true. Um, I think people were saying that it might be the map Tanoa, which is meant to be like a volcanic, like snowy-ish map. So, I mean, that would be pretty cool. And I think it, Tanoa, if I'm not mistaken, pretty small map too. If it's being based off of the old one. But who knows, you know, like, they may, they may not release a map that's already been released. It might be, <coughs> sorry, it might be a brand new endeavor for them, you know, nothing to work off of. So it's, I feel like it's pretty hard to say. But, you know, hopefully they add some sort of, like, Cool end game or something like that. I mean, feels unlikely because it's an official map, but it'd be really cool to see. Yo, 80k, thanks for coming in with the two years. Jeez, man, appreciate you, dude. Long time support from the brother. Look at all these zombies, there's so many. One of them's got to have my ammo. Yeah, so Daisy 2 is, like, actually a thing, right? I mean, it's not just, like, a... People think it's gonna happen. I mean, there was, like, legal, like, court documents. Like, regarding Daisy 2. Oh, it's coming. Um. Look, I didn't think that was a miss. You probably didn't even realize what just happened. But you're dead, so... It definitely wasn't a miss. I think there's another bolt on the ground somewhere. Did that bolt just completely ruin because I hit the ground with it? I think it might have. A whole new platform of bugs? Yeah, I mean... Who knows, maybe they, they strive to make DayZ 2, you know, a smooth release unlike the original DayZ was. Like, people are stoked for Daisy standalone, don't get me wrong. Um, uh, what am I saying, man? There's gonna be, there's gonna be bugs. There's gonna be bugs. Who cares, though? <laughs> we've, we've dealt with them all. That zombie's freaking out. Oh, he knows I'm here now. Okay. Damn, I have killed a lot of zombies. Oh, I should have kept that BK. Fuck. Lex is always ready for the games. Always.
Warlock's trying to draw on a laptop. <laughs> I don't think she realizes that there, that that laptop she's using is also touchscreen. <laughs> using the trackpad must be rough. <laughs> I tried doing that, but it wouldn't work. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Never mind then. <laughs> All right, let's get up here to refugee and uh, probably lay waste to the rest of the zombies that are up here too. And we'll see if we can find that Mosin ammo. You could probably use the iPad for it, Lex. Be honest. Ooh, helmet. Give me, give me. Gloves. Uh, new gloves. Boots. Take the boots. Or actually, we'll take these boots. A very low amount of zombies and a low amount of loot. Somebody could have possibly been through here maybe like five, ten minutes before we did. Five, five, six. Damn, we dropped that Pilad scope that we had. So uh damn. All right, well, should be okay anyway. Probably find an optic for it. This is getting kind of weird, though. There was literally only one zombie in the entire camp. Oh, I hear one outside. Like no loot. Yeah, there's there's most definitely somebody ahead of us. Scooping up everything. You know where they went, huh? See, go. You left fully loaded belt. I mean, I got I got myself a nice little fanny pack. I'm I'm pretty okay with that. <laughs> All right, we need to eat some of this food. I feel like we have killed a lot of zombies. And to have not found any Mosin ammo, kind of surprised. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the tower and the uh, tent next to it. Might get lucky over there getting some actual ammo. Might even get better armor off one of the zombies. Actually, wait, we don't even have any armor at all. Don't even have a stab vest. Any 
and we um thing is i just i just don't know if we'll go to research with no ammo in the mosin you know just a crossbow i don't think that's the wisest move so perhaps we do a little bit of lurking and uh we can figure it out you know we'll find some find some zombies kill them get the ammo bada bang bada boom there's no zombies here either okay this is this is starting to get a little weird. Oh, wait. BK or... Oh. We'll stick with the BK. You unbox that ammo yet? No. Let's go ahead and do that. Keep moving around. Okay. Oh, it'd be nice if we could find SKS up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the SK. Give me the SK. Uh... Never mind, my luck's not that good. Oh, there is a red dot that we could have thrown on the Pioneer. I'm not going to mess with it, though. Let's just get out of here. Or pipe. <laughs> okay. Gotta track this guy down. Although, how long do zombies actually stick around after they get killed? As soon as somebody's out of radius, is it like five minutes or something? So if, if they're like, <clears throat> let's say five to ten minutes ahead, then they might, yeah, they're probably already like in the middle of research. We have no ammo though. Yikes. Stop in the tree for a minute. Get a, get a munch on real quick. What are we, what are we eating right now? Cat food? Ah, oh, yeah. A little, little gift cat. I wonder if we could just eat the rest of our food. I mean, we only have the soda left, so yeah, for sure. on a birth for birthday dinner doesn't sound too shabby and beat a nice steak I barely birthday though if I don't see you till then do I hear an EVR storm yeah yeah I do hear an EVR storm fuck we didn't find a gas mask there um Oh man, I think we have to make the dash here and to uh, to research and see if we can find a mask. Um, might be able to find a combat mask at this barrack right here. Unlikely, but we gotta try, right? USG. Fuck the 
crossbow. We'll just bring the USG in. <laughs> the crossbow is nice for zombies and everything, but if we got to kill somebody soon, I want something I can just spray them down with. Check the bunker, maybe. Actually, you know what? We'll go take the ladder up and we'll go through medical side here. Crossbow did a lot of good work. Sad to see her go. Actually, you know what? Oh, there's a press vest right there on that car. Nice. Okay, let's just get inside. Sir. Now we just need the mask. Yes. Ooh, here, DMR. That's like in the valley. You know what? The button's to probably totally hit right now. Let's let's get out of here. Shit, we're going up. We need to go down. See you later, I still have a good one. Fuck it. We're gonna we're we're gonna save time and just cut straight through the front here. Oh god, that's a lot of zombies right there. over there oh man we gotta go we gotta go 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 we have one filter which should be enough to get us in there and then look around and get out where the shots coming from they're from back there right so that's like on the way to uh the orb site i think some I th maybe they hit the button and they started running and they ran into some contact along the way yeah yeah yeah. because the gas is here yep those are probably the button pushers oh wait, that could be a suit guy actually for all we know could be a, a team of guys with suits we have an epipen right so tiny we have to crouch jump I think we might have to yes fucking straight in there Could be somebody else here. Look.
Where's the plate carrier? Five shots. I could live with that. Two fucking batteries. Give two ground as well. Is that Napsy? Plate's got to be down by Pepsi. Unless somebody's already in there and they're going to blast me. But I don't think anyone could have made it in before I did. We're about to find out. If you're down here, please don't shoot me. Only one jumper. Red dot would have been nice that we saw earlier. That would have been a good grab for us. Calm down, all right? Yeah, you ain't leaving now, bud. You ain't leaving. <laughs> At least I'm not holding him on a ladder. He's, able, he's actually able to make it down. I could totally kill me. He has 
a little bit of gamma so you can see better. How much do we have on our filter? We're good. I'm guessing you pressed the button, huh? Where'd you get into uh, quite the scuffle on the way over? Give you enough time to get in here, grab all the loot, and then get out. There's nothing for you in here. Absolutely nothing. I made sure of it. <laughs> You're like the bad guy right now. That's cringe. You just killed the guy when he spawned in? Damn, son. Your friend just got fucking murdered by some guy right when he ro rolled in. <laughs> he, he just got fucked. Oh, I would hate to be that guy. Was that your friend? Oh, so you're the guy that blasted him. Wait, are you the one that just jumped in? No. I'm the one that shot you, idiot. Whoa, idiot. You didn't hit me, alright? <laughs> idiot. Idiot. <laughs> Look, now you decide to talk, huh? Oh, wait. You're the guy that was camping the tunnel last time I was in here. <laughs> yeah, you're not leaving. I, I made sure to bring plenty of filters. <laughs> good, good flashbang. I have no filters. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, you got this. <laughs> yeah, um, those are definitely the guys that I was fighting. Oh, you didn't even kill him when you first fought him? Ah. I mean, you kind of hold the Ompi's only way they can come. Oh, look, another. Oh, that's a grenade. Okay. Another grenade. Come on. Yeah, yeah, keep throwing. <laughs> yeah. I hope they kill you. <laughs> uh, be aware, there is a man in here with a FAMAS and a DMR. It will likely kill you. So, uh, you've been warned. Damn, they all have filters though, and I, I don't I don't have extra filters. This, this guy this guy's got plenty though, after killing those guys. Uh yikes. He literally spawned at the fucking at Pepsi. Let's just get out of here. Live to fight another day. Gloves are ruined. No, they're damaged. Okay.
This is the ladder that he was down inside of. Watch there be somebody down here. <laughs> Watch them also be someone. Bro, I swear to God. If there's someone down here already. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh yeah, the Apsy this time? True. Be like him. This is literally the angle that he was holding last time. Look, he sounds like the same guy as last time. I would love to sit here. And let him come down this ladder and we kill him. But I don't have the filters for it. And he's definitely got more than I do. So like the smart play on this would be try to go down the ladder when the storm hits in hopes that somebody's not wearing an apsy down here. Live to find another day. My UMP. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> oh, wait, might be something in here. No, nah, nothing in the barrel. Go and fix up our gloves. Yeah, happy clouds. It's crazy. Like, people get so scared just holding that angle. Like, it's literally, like, the most powerful angle you could possibly get. Just hitting someone as they're coming down a ladder. Like, you, <laughs> there's not much more you could ask for, you know?
The only like reason. Oh shit. That was FAMAS versus DMR. I think. I don't even know if that's out. That, that was inside. That could have been right out in the tunnel. I like to think that the last shot just finished the first guy. Yeah. I can agree with that. Hey, there's someone out there. <laughs> Don't be a bitch. Leave me alone. Please. The fuck? <laughs> Bro, that was the suit pressurizing noise. But it felt like it, it sounded like it came out of me. <laughs> Do I am I am I, am I a space suit? I am Cobra Kai. Or rather right above you. Maybe, maybe the guy that jumped in last had a spacesuit or something. Maybe the guy that he killed was holding on a O2 tank. I don't know. That was, that was weird. I've never had that happen to me. Oh no, Mono, that is that was definitely the suit sound. Like when someone pressurizes. That guy's that guy could literally live up there inside of A3 now. He's probably going to Lancia. We'll hear another um like the storm. Not the storm, but the uh we'll hear the reactor go off if we're nearby. Holy shit, it's so dark. Oh my god, I can't see a fucking thing. It's so dark. Should we can use this in the boots? <laughs> this suit guy just hanging out. He activates the suit. He's like, don't come in there.
Fuck, dying of hunger now too. Kill a wolf with fucking 308. Oh man. We're gonna run out of ammo with this gun before we even get to use it on a person. But hey, it's food, I guess. Let's get out of here. I do want to fill the cooking pot up real quick, though. Before we start cooking up all these wolves. So we got the cooking pot filled up now, so when we cook up these wolves, it should, you know, clean up the water that's inside the cooking pot too, and then we'll have some nice drinking water. Because we're yellow on thirst, so it's inevitable that we're gonna have to drink some water soon. Two batteries is pretty cool. I mean, kind of sucks we didn't get pouches, but two batteries for the suit. Not too bad. Wait. Fuck, I don't think this is the server that I had the, um, the two filaments on. Because if we did, if it was, then we would just go and grab the filaments. It has an O2 tank. Go look for one, one filament. Actually, we probably drop off the battery and then go look for the filament but regardless I, I don't think it was on this server was this a freshy run to the orb because you're super broke but also kind of rich yeah it was <laughs> we um we had a crossbow and a mosin with no ammo and a ump Now we have a black plate, LAR, and SVD. But no spare ammo. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's not looking so hot. But we know there's a guy with a suit hanging around. Unless that sound clip just, like, happened for no reason. But I'm sure it meant that someone else just pressurized their suit.
You know, when we saw the guy that was trying to kill us with the FAMAS, he just looked like he was wearing a black plate. So I think that the other guy that jumped in was wearing a suit, and that's what the DMR shots were. And I think DMR guy beat FAMAS guy. So in reality, we could have... Uh... Actually, no. We, di we didn't have that much time on the filter left, so we couldn't have stayed. Definitely the same camper, right? I think it was. Like, it sounded like him. Um, So I'm kind of just assuming that it was the same guy. We need some 308 pretty bad. And, uh, because we have 12 shots of 308, and we have 5 shots in the SVD, and that's it. Is it when you yeet it off the top ladder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pretty sure it's the same guy. That was so aggressive. Like, right off the rip, he was like, no, that wasn't me, you idiot. Like, <laughs> just like, all right, dude, shit. <laughs> yeah, I think he died, though. So he got what was coming to him, you know? He definitely got what was coming to him. Remember when Bobby Boucher showed up at halftime to help the mud dogs win the bourbon bowl? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking dumbass in the background. saw me jesus get some eyes on you Ooh, five five six fuck i can't grab it K74. Back, back. Moss Mag. Someone must have, like, just hit this heli crash or something. zombie or a person? It's a zombie. Yeah, it's a zombie.
Oh, fuck, Tetra. I do not even think about it. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, I definitely didn't mean to forget the Tetra, but, uh, I mean, we should be able to just get our water up and get over the sickness. All our other stats are looking pretty good. Oh, shots. Oh, you got ammo. No. Yeah, it's it's still very dark. Oh, there's an SKS in here. slash the zeds i mean it's just you just let him you just let him come at you and you block the first hit two little slashes right to the head done deal Ooh, nice now we actually have a sight on the lar find ammo over here. Let's just go. Tetra would have taken care of us, but, um, or it had a chance of taking care of us. But I was just being careless. Didn't think about it. up here at the helicopter and see if we can get lucky with maybe finding some bullets or uh, even a, maybe another mag for either one of these guns that we've got. I wouldn't mind either one. Well, I mean, I guess preferably I'd rather just have ammo, <laughs> but another mag wouldn't be bad. on right now yeah we do wait there's a zombie back here close to somebody we're not even gonna bother being quiet we're just gonna we're gonna flick on the flashlight and we're just gonna fucking we're just gonna chase him down
Uh, I'll show you. Oh, Jesus. Man, I don't want to have to waste the fucking 308 on these guys. Oh. Let's see if we can get up to the helicopter. And uh, there might be like an AUG or something lying there that we could use for wolf killing. Because we'll, we'll practically leave ourselves defenseless if we waste all of our bullets on wolves. Stand down here. <laughs> Man, it'd be so nice if we could find a box of three oh eight up here. So now we have 10 shots left for the LAR for now. Until we find more ammo. Thanks. We're going to be hungry again soon. Spectre's a nice find, though. We just gotta find a uh, let's go repair kit so we can actually patch it up. Because right now it's probably looking uh, pretty rough. I have no space to move anything around. Not gonna use that. Let's see. Uh, I mean that's that's not terrible. <clears throat> it's not like the uh, like the PU scope and some of the other scopes where the crack literally comes through through the center of the scope. Actually. <laughs> Pretty manageable. And I think we might use this. Let's stick with it. Just get rid of the, uh, the NF Actar scope. It's just a weird scope, man. I think people would enjoy that the scope more if uh, it had a smaller reticle in the middle. Oh, they got a Geisley, uh, ring mount right here as well. Super precision Geisley automatics. The use scope is horrid. Yeah, when it gets damaged, it is rough. And I was hoping I wasn't going to get more wolves because I was trying to fish down here. Yikes. It's like a 3k scope IRL. Is the reticle that big on it though? I know scopes are very expensive. You know, getting glass optics and stuff is like crazy expensive. Like all those optics you see on like Tarkov and stuff, like the Voodoo's and the Razors, like those are all real and they're fucking, they're insanely expensive.
is it legal in America to use scopes, or do you need a certain license? It, it's legal. Yeah, you, I, don't, I don't think you need a license for any type of optic. You need a uh, permit um, or a, what they call a tax stamp for like using a s suppressor or silencer. Scopes aren't regulated by any means. You could own a thermal optic if you wanted to. <clears throat> remember you talking about that militia, actually? I remember you were asking about LPVOs, but I knew nothing about them, so I just, I, I didn't, I, I didn't respond to that threat <laughs> on Discord. I feel like it was you. I can continue fishing and they'll leave me alone. <coughs> oh shit. Oh, we got a fish. Nice. Aw, oh, you fucking... Yeah, the wolves today are ridiculous. I'm surprised they're... They didn't just come for me. Maybe because I was sitting still. Lost my scent. That's weird. We literally saw the wolf behind us. going on hiker oh shit my discord name is different than my twitch name that coincidence you recall <laughs> I just knew I just had that feeling. <clears throat> no, I just remember someone talking about a, a Steiner and like asking for advice. I don't know how I remember that. <laughs> and I'm really into guns, but I just don't have the money for guns and like optics and all this shit. So I'm just like sitting here and admiring from afar. Hey, single beer. It's going good, my man. Just hopefully caught a fish. Oh my fucking god. That is the second pair of wellies. Oh, fucking hell. Get away. <clears throat> Guns are an expensive hobby. Yeah, they sure are. If I, if I just had money to blow, it'd be guns, armor, NVGs. Tactical gear. I'd, I'd be fucking... I'd be buying all that shit. I'm just a dude who likes guns. And military gear. Ireland's completely illegal to own any firearms. Yeah, true. True, 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 true. It's crazy. I mean, like, I, I just have a... I have a couple handguns and a rifle, but... That's that's all I have for now. <clears throat> that guy on the range <laughs> just fucking doing slav squats with my NVGs on and my plate carrier. Just fucking <laughs> putting I put tracer rounds in my AR and I'm just fucking going to town. <laughs> I'm like, hey, can you guys turn off the lights in here so I can uh practice with my nuts? <laughs> Shit, that'd be fucking funny. Let's 
<laughs> Imagine Maox just <laughs> the, the specific lake. Just uh, yeah, we're giving you a two hundred percent more more chance to uh, catch a, some wellies instead of fish. <clears throat> Take the water out, there's like a hundred pairs of wellies just sitting on the bottom. Fortunate enough to have an ACOG type scope on a Wyndham Weaponry AR-15 with a few tricked out toys on it. That's pretty cool, man. Like, for me personally, like, what I want to do is, I don't really want, I don't really care to own like a bunch of guns, um, but I do want to get a not really nice AR lower that I can swap out the uppers for, so that I can do a you know, even even a twenty two upper if possible, and like a five five six, a three oh eight, <clears throat> maybe even a three hundred blackout upper, and just have it so it's swappable on the same gun. I've seen people's like builds that do that, and it's pretty sweet, but that'd be pretty simple for me, and I would like that. But you know, I'm a simple guy, you know, just uh little foregrip on there you maybe a tack light on the side with a little pressure pad um and then uh you know maybe a little, little little aim point on there or something oh and nine mil as well that's a that's another good one wookies A little nine mil AR, like, dude, they're so cool. I've, I've seen a few, I've never shot one, but they're pretty wicked. Shot an M60 machine gun in Vietnam two weeks ago. Jeez. I think you mentioned that the other day. That's pretty wicked, though. Right now, my, uh, my AR is technically a pistol braced AR. Um, Finally, we catch a fish. Hook is ruined, but we caught a fish, finally. But I will say, um, I, I know that ATF thing that was announced for the pistol braces uh, got abolished, actually. It got, it got beat in court, or whatever they call it. Um, and so if you have a pistol brace in your AR, like a pistol, you're fine. For a while, they were saying you had to do like a form one or whatever it was to like turn your AR pistol into an SBR and yada, 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 which I was actually kind of okay with because I want to turn my AR into an SBR and be able to put a uh, suppressor on there and put an actual stock on it that I like. But yeah. But uh, I've also noticed, like, my AR, honestly, not that impressive. Like, it's a Smith & Wesson um, MMP, MP15 or whatever. And shooting 223 out of it jams up. Shooting 556 out of it jams up every once in a while. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be doing that. Like, I don't know if that's a problem with the gun or if it's a problem with, like, the gas system in it or something. Like, I don't know, dude. <clears throat> Do you clean your gun? Yeah, I clean my gun. It's like, it, 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 with minimal use, it still does that. I should be able to easily put 500 rounds through the gun without having to clean that fucker, you know? And, like, without it, like, jamming too much as long as I'm being, like... What the fuck was that? Is that a wolf in the water? Could it be gas? Could it be the bolt carrier? Oh, yes, another fish. Yeah. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you what BCG I'm running. It, it's the one that came with the gun. The only thing that I changed was the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the charging handle.
it jams like trying to chamber without ejecting yes so it'll catch the rounds that just fired and it'll like it'll it'll the next round won't have enough like it won't make it like it'll it'll get caught on the neck of the bullet or whatever like in the neck of the brass It'll make like little dents on like the ammo that I'm using. I mean, it's pretty fucking clean. I th I like took the whole thing apart like very well. And like the thing is, it is ne it hasn't shot good since day one. I just haven't had the time to like go and like to a gunsmith and like get it figured out or do whatever. <clears throat> uh, what are you using for mags? Cheap mags blow. Use mag pulls. I think I am using magpoles. One sec. It's just a plastic PMAG that says like Gen 2 on it. So I uh, I, honest, I don't know if that's like a specific brand or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I bought them. <clears throat> it's probably under gas. The MP15 is so mass produced, your gas block alignment is probably shit. That's like what I was thinking. I, I was thinking it was under gas, right? Because, um, one sec. When it, like, 223 jammed every single time right every single fucking time i threw 556 five, in there which was like a and it was green tips so it was you know more powder it was it was a heavier load and it wouldn't jam as often but it's still jammed It doesn't come with an adjustable gas block, so would I have to get a new gas block put in or something? What handguard does it have? Uh, oh shit. Just dropped something. I don't even know. It's the stock one. Uh, it's M lock. I know that. I'm pretty sure. Because it doesn't have the Pictini rails. I'm pretty sure it's an M lock. <laughs> oh, there's another EVR storm. And whoever mentioned the uh, charging handle, I think it is a Radiant Raptor charging handle. If I remember correctly. I got the box somewhere, or, like the little package. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm able to remove this handguard. Um, got like three screws on like the... On the bottom of it. And it looks like it comes apart. I don't know. I don't know. I still want to touch it and fuck it up more. <laughs> but I was also thinking about just selling it and getting a uh, getting a different AR and maybe just going full size as well. Yeah, true, Rogan. I gotta, I just gotta get on it. Okay, we got all this fish. Uh, fuck that meat right there. Rip the fish. Uh, let's turn this back into a rope. <coughs> I was thinking about going, um, there's a Palmetto State Armory, literally like two minutes from the house that I'm living in now. I was thinking about heading over there and checking out, seeing what they got. Thing is though, like, if I, go to like sell my AR to somebody like I mean they're obviously going to give me 
less than what I paid for it, of course, but are are, are they going to say something about the gas problem? <laughs> I just do that then. Because I kind of do want to get a full size um, AR instead. Like the 10 and a half inch barrel is cool and all, but I don't think it's very practical. And like I want like a one use like oh, oh i want an everything ar something i can use for long range short range medium range whatever i think yeah a nice 15 16 inches would be perfect just keep the mmp15 they'll give you like 400 dollars for it uh buy a bcm upper and swap that out and you're done you can replace the trigger later on if you want all right done deal fuck it let's do it <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm down with that because like as long as the gun shoots good i don't mind the size it is now but i i don't know a full size would kind of be nice like a 16 inches or so I lost the wolves somehow. 14.5 pinned and welded or 16. Ah, pin and welded 14.5. That would actually be kind of wicked. <laughs> Look, if people could send me some like suggestions, maybe like. I don't know, like in the guns and stuff part of uh, Discord, I I'd be I'd be game with that, you know. And like, I actually might consider like either rebuilding this one or I don't know something. But <laughs> the advice is definitely welcome. <clears throat> I an AK-47. You know, that's on that's on the uh <laughs> that's on the wish list for, for one day. That'd be so sick. Owning like a Kalishnikov AK-47, just fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> well Pine, if you didn't live on an island in Canada, then you wouldn't have these issues. We got a storm happening right now. Let's see if maybe uh, make a little something happen. What if we jumped back in? Probably a waste of time for us, actually. can't jump inside anyway we don't we have a half a gas mask filter like not even like actually it's probably pretty low yeah i mean you can still buy like pallets of like surplus guns and stuff like my friends uh my friend bought a uh Mosin and i shot that thing dude like that that oh my god like <laughs> like i i've never had a gun like hit my shoulder like that Mosin's freaking wicked.
Ooh, that's big right there. Another lighter, just in case. Ooh, we could put this on the LAR, but it's damaged. Put this on the SVD. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, Fallen. Like, I, I your your advice is like, you know, definitely pretty spot on. Um, and the MMP lower is already like steel, and it's honestly like it's it's pretty good quality. I think maybe maybe the internals are not great. But like it's it's pretty fucking sturdy. It's not like a plastic piece of shit, you know. But you know, and then like replacing the guts of the MMP lower would you know help me like learn more about the weapon as well that I've owned for years and that I've only taken apart and cleaned a few times. But I've never taken apart the lower and like you know, mess with the parts and all that. So definitely something I should I should do. <laughs> That way, no new background check and telling the government anything. Yeah, true. <coughs> maybe you know, maybe uh, you may, maybe a, a new buttstock will find its way on there or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. AKM mags. Been waiting to buy a scar. I shot one uh, a couple years ago, and uh, it was pretty badass, man. Pretty badass. Shooting like shooting targets probably at like a hundred to hundred fifty yards out with that thing just popping, just dinging. <laughs> if you say you want a deagle, but no one actually wants a deagle. I can't see shit either. <laughs> it's so fucking dark. So wait, if I were to get a 13 to 14 and a half upper and I pin and welded a suppressor on it, I wouldn't have to stamp anything, right? Maybe I don't want to pin and weld though. Maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know. Is that, does anyone have experience here with pinning and welding a suppressor on a gun? Is there like long-term effects or short-term effects that would deter me otherwise? Can't get a suppressor without a stamp? Uh, stick with QD, yeah. Quick disconnect, probably better. Doesn't change a thing, but it's permanent. Yeah, for that upper at least. Because the, the way I see it, right? What if... Well, I don't know. What What's what's more convenient, right? Having a upper that has a pin and welded suppressor on it and, the, and it's gassed at the right amount and everything. Um, or... Very 
better make partner first. Tax stamp is expensive. You mean partner plus? <laughs> anyway, um, or just buy a second upper like as well. That's a 16 without a suppressor. <coughs> Gonna have multiple rifles with varying calibers. I think I might just do varying uppers, not necessarily. <laughs> not necessarily like a different, whole different gun. I don't know. <clears throat> There's a lot to think about here. Barely see shit down here. This is probably a really bad time to come down here. But I really need ammo. Well, I'm saying like only reason to pin and weld the suppressor would just be for the fact that the barrel on the gun would be less than 16 because it has to be a permanent fixture if you want to do a shorter barrel and like shorter gun and all that. But I don't know. Maybe we just go 16, put a thread on it and then boom. But the, the only like stipulation with that is every time I put the suppressor on, am I going to have to change or adjust the gas system? the pistol brace on and you can have whatever length barrel you want yeah sure that's if I want to keep the brace on it though stock on a registered the pistol lower as long as it has a barrel at least 16 inches yeah Ooh, nice better specter much better shape oh, wait actually you know what there's specter on this we're gonna we're gonna double specter it up Give me this. Wait, we're wet? Oh, shit. Wait, actually. Pristine? Oh, fuck yeah. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do some, we're gonna make, do some voodoo on this, uh, Spectre real quick. Dolo Systems. I'll have to look that up. I'm guessing it's like a suppressor system, like a, some sort of, like, quiz connect, or da da da. Quick disconnect. Ah, quick disconnect system. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and dry off with we'll just use the cooking set. Wrap your SDSL charging handle to prevent gas. Oh, okay. And just always run that. And then whether I have the suppressor on there or not, be, be A okay.
Oh, Matt from uh, Demolition Ranch. Yeah, he's uh, dude. The arsenal that like him and a couple of those other gun YouTubers have is just insane. Like just <laughs> just fathoming that much weaponry in one area. Wild. They do like big events and stuff where they shoot out of the range and everything. It'd be wicked to go to one of those. Shoot all sorts of guns that I've probably never have the chance to shoot again in my life. That's all the way in fucking Texas. That's 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 a ways away. Texas, Florida, and Tennessee have the best laws. We just passed permitless concealed carry here in Florida. Yeah, extreme civilian. Um, actually, I was living in Florida, right, a couple months ago, and because uh, I had moved there for like a year, and. I had my concealed carry up in North Carolina, right? And then I went down there and they were like, no, you don't you don't need your concealed carry. It's it's permitless. I was like, what? <laughs> like, that's how it should be everywhere. Should grab a HK416 or even better, an HK417. Isn't the 417 308 or 760 by 51? Constitutional carry, yeah, that's what it is. So we got a loaded mag with the SPD now. Just kind of hoping we'd find an AK-101. So we weren't spending all this 308 on stupid things like wolves. Actually, could be a gun down here. You know, I wonder something, right? Oh shit, M16? I don't really want that thing though. Maybe AK? <laughs> yeah. Um, if I had gotten my concealed carry permit in North Carolina before I moved to Florida, and it's good for five years, would it still be good even though I moved to Florida and I moved back? It should still be good, right? <coughs> Why wouldn't it be good? I don't know. I didn't know if like going out of state and moving like had anything to do with it if you moved back. Really? Locking the doors? Look, that's not cool, man. You can't just lock the doors, all right? That's why I bring a lockpick everywhere I go. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, even if I didn't have the permit, I'd fucking carry anyway. Because you, you can't afford not to these days, you know? Like, people gloat the gun shit and everything, but, like, I don't know. I'm all for concealed carrying, just keeping a gun on you, you know? Don't let people know you have a gun, you know? Gotta keep that thing on you. We actually had a family friend um, get carjacked or attempted carjack. Um, like a couple weeks ago and um, he, he couldn't reach his gun because he had it tucked behind him like carrying it on, on his like back waistband they got like thrown to the ground his wife did and everything too like crazy stuff man like fuck that bet he carries appendix now thing is though a lot of bigger guys can't run appendix but and they also can't run, um, run it on their, uh, like on the back of their waistband. So I think he'll probably resort to going to like a side carry. 
I'm too fat to run appendix. Yeah, see, like, I mean, and, and he's he's a larger man for sure. Uh, you, you, some some would say he's fat, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I, I would never carry behind me like that. If I if I was that size, like having to reach around and grab that. I mean, I'm pretty small, dude, so I carry appendix. But yeah. Medical MJ users in the U.S. can't legally possess a gun. Felony. That's a lie. Maybe in some states, but I knew a guy in Florida that had his medical license, his medical card, and he was he was buying guns left and right. Maybe he did under the table, but I don't know. He went to like a actual gunsmith, so I'm not sure. That's right, brother. That's unconstitutional. You can't tell me I can't smoke pot and carry a gun. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Welcome to America. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Smaller mask, mm, in better shape than ours. Let's just take it. Was the one I tried to buy just a couple years ago? Oh damn, yeah, that sucks. You know, maybe you could uh, try again. And see what they say. They tell you no, be like, sorry, that's unconstitutional. Smoke pot out of my gun, yee yee. That's, yeah, I mean, that's as American as it gets. Just fucking another M16 with a 60 rounder. Oof, wait, this mask is. Let's do this. Hmm. This would be a good gun for like killing wolves and stuff. The Americans always ready for smoke. Respect it. <laughs> uh, yeah. At least half the population. More guns in America than people? Well, when the gun producers and the manufacturers, whatever you want to call them, are uh, pumping out thousands of guns a day, and there's no, like, regulation on that, and people... There's so many people that buy guns literally just to hold on to them and then sell them later on. And most gun owners... Yeah, exactly. Most gun owners buy more than one. I think the biggest ar argument for, like, owning more than one gun is, like, you know, one fucks up, you got the you got the next. <laughs> if you run out of ammo for one type, you got the other. You know, I don't know. Thing is, it's not like these guns are, like, spread amongst the population in a crazy amount. Like, yeah, like, some people have... A decent amount of guns but there's a lot of people that don't don't carry at all you know so. i think majority of homeowners in the u.s at least have at least like one handgun in their house if not like a shotgun the shotguns are easier to get in ars Get your guns ready. The Civil War's coming. <laughs> yeah, something like that.
I heard good things about the Glock 43X. That's their newest, uh, the newest model, isn't it? I'm thinking about, uh, getting a, uh, E320 full size. But, I'll, but part of me is like, damn, do I just want to get a subcompact and use it as an everyday carry? I don't know. So many choices. Love we hear wolves right as we're exiting. I have a P320. It's a big bitch to carry, though. Yeah, that's like that's kind of what I was worried about. Like, I think the P320 would be a great like home defense weapon, just to have a handgun in the house or like something like that. But carrying it around every day, I don't know about that. I feel like full size guns are really only necessary for people that are like in law enforcement or the military or some sort of like security thing. E365 X macro. Yeah, Pogs a lot. That's actually what I've been looking at too. Um, cause I like my P365, but the X macro has more ma has more ammo capacity for one. And it's uh it's got better recoil and everything as well. Um what else? And it has a larger purchase on the uh on the grip on the actual handguard. Well, not handguard, but pistol grip. I have a Civ M17 on my bed and 365 XL for my carry. I've got a, yeah, I have a 365 XL as my carry, but I, the X macro is just sexy. Let's get rid of the gamma and uh, get out of here. One second, let me adjust the microphone real quick. You might hear some weird noises. Let's bounce. You guys are crazy. All this gun talk. <laughs> so that's what it's like living in America, huh? God, we need more ammo. These wolves are on somebody else. We talk about bass fishing rods. I have a lot of them. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Look, fishing rods, guns, it's all, it's all just a means to get more food. That's the way I look at it. Like Daisy. Yeah, Ken. And I think the only reason they do it is they don't. It's just because, like, then they turn into the U.S., you know? Instead of everyone stabbing each other, everyone's shooting each other. But the way you avoid that is having, like, really, like, tight regulation. Like, you know, and, like, super in-depth, like, background checks and, you know, all that good stuff. But, you know, it's it, you can't prevent bad guys from having guns because if all the good guys have guns, the bad guys are just going to steal the good guys' guns. <laughs> That's what happens. Like... 
You know how many guns are stolen from valets every year? Tons. Oh, what's going on, Ray? Thanks for the three months. Appreciate you. I think there's somebody close. Oh, I see the wolf down there. What are you running toward? The amount of legal guns being taken off the streets is very high. It's like prohibition. I mean, yeah, there's just so many of them though, you know? It's like criminals are never going to stop owning guns because there's so many in circulation, so you might as well own one. Or three. <laughs> yeah, or three. So many AKF mags. That's like the fourth or fifth AKM mag we've seen in the south already. Wolf saw it seemed like it was on somebody else at first. A hinderer slippy? What what's a hinderer slippy? What? Pocket knife. Oh. Rick Hinder. Just everyone just fucking stabbing each other. Know what you want, mate. Okay, so those zombies just spawned in again. That was fast. Suit man, I need him to leave A3 so that we can fight. be non-locking to be legal? That's so stupid. What? In my opinion, the only knives that you should ever carry around for self-defense are knives that lock or knives that are one solid piece and they're not like flip-up knives or, you know, anything like that. Those fucking, or like those, what are those, like typhoon knives that you press the button and it shoots out or whatever. Like, I, they're, they're useless. 
A fixed blade, yeah, yeah, yeah. In most states in the US, you can't conceal carry a knife that's more than four inches long. Yeah, I didn't know that. But, I mean, I don't carry a knife anyway. But I have heard, um... I, I, I just... I've heard bad stories about non-fixed blades. So, if I were to ever buy a knife, it'd be for self-protection or anything, or just use, it'd probably be a fixed blade. The only reason you should ever have like a folding knife is if you have like a little folding knife, like pocket knife, like inside your backpack for like, that's like a multi-tool, you know, that has like a can opener on it or something. <laughs> yeah, no, like self-defense, you can forget about it. You're better off with a kitchen knife. Winkler knives? I'll, I'll have to look that up. doesn't solve the 308 problem, but definitely helps us out in the SVD department. Could kill these zombies in here. Mm, we'll just wait. Carry a bat in the trunk of your car can be considered a felony, but if you keep a glove in there too, you're good. <laughs> nice. I used to frequently have bats in my cars, but that's because I played baseball, like, you know, throughout my whole life until, you know, I, until I left college. the 22 go oh it's my vest nice uh north georgia blasted not like a big school by any means um d2 I miss playing ball. I fucking miss it. I see baseball fields nowadays when I'm passing by. I'm just like, damn. I wish I could just go, you know, you know, hit a couple balls or play or throw the ball at someone or something. That's like, I look, I dude, I look forward to the day that I have a kids and I mean, whether it's a girl or boy or whatever, they're gonna play baseball or softball. I I, I don't care. <laughs> they are going to be forced to play. <laughs> Or, or whatever it ends up being. Girl, boy, juice box. I don't fucking know. <laughs> My son plays and loves it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, and I, I look... I aspire to have that in my life. 
of course, you know, once I'm stable and all those good things. But, uh, I mean, dude, I played ball from being four years old till, what, I was 20? 21? Almost 20 years of playing ball. And I never played, like, other sports, really. Um, I did year-round baseball since I was, like, 10 years old. Third baseman, love watching him play. Yeah, dude. Like, like I said, I aspire. Aspire to have it. I think having sports in my life uh, definitely helped shape me to the individual I am today. Not like in every aspect, of course, but some things. Kids are the best, man. I got three girls and one boy from 16 to 8 years old. Oh, 16. That's a, that's a fun age. <laughs> but hey, if you got a great relationship with your kids, then it's the best, man. Start umpiring last year, Ratch. Nice. Nice. I've done a, a little bit of umpiring. I did it for like two games because I was subbing in for my brother. Um, he's older than me and he was already doing that. But something that, I don't know, I would consider maybe in the future. It's like, uh, like every once in a while. It's like a proven thing that being a part of a team as a kid is good for your development for sure yeah and i think just being active and being like you know like you learn more about like your hand-eye coordination and like it just it just helps develop you over time you know it's just i don't know i don't know the specifics behind everything but i feel like it helped a lot <laughs> i can i can sit here across the bedroom and uh Throw a paper ball and uh, in the trash can from off from, <laughs> from twenty feet away. <laughs> Kids are born attached to iPads now. Yeah, that's that's the sad reality today, though. Like it's good to like let children become like technologically savvy and stuff like that, but when you when you're just trying to shut them up and you just hand them the iPad, like. Ah. I don't know about that. Ooh, got a filter. Need to get more ammo. Sports teaches more about discipline than most other things growing up. Baseball is based on failure, so I think it has a leg up on other sports, but I'm very biased. I mean, you're not wrong. dude i mean shit dude they make airsoft guns these days that are almost as real as like a real gun like as far as like the feel and look happens to it you know i played a lot of airsoft when i was a teenager something i never did though that i honestly wouldn't mind doing like even today is like doing one of those really large like overnight like airsoft events where it's like kind of like real life survival almost
be really cool to do. Uh, in the in the UK, I think you do tender for for airsoft guns that look and feel real. I think you need paperwork, saying such. Sim West events look dope. Yeah, dude. Like, I know I'm not a kid anymore, but like, that should be fun. Like, everyone's running around in their actual, like, tactical gear, like, wearing plate carriers, helmets, NVGs, just fucking shooting little plastic BBs at each other. <laughs> With cater. Oh, yeah, running blank LMGs. That's sick, though. Like, they hop, like, running blanks on LMGs, and they're like, they got like mounted LMGs on top of Jeeps and stuff and like people would go nuts with that stuff, man. There was actually somebody that um reached out to me uh via whispers and they're like talking about maybe doing like a, a daisy like real life event where they said paintball, but I think airsoft would probably just be a better bet. Um where you like survive over the course of like a few days or something. And um, use like airsoft guns or paintball guns, whatever it ends up being. Having like and, and like just videotaping everything, you know, make treating it like Daisy. <clears throat> Role play is the Zed, just screaming at people, chasing them around, flailing your arms. I think airsoft would be better, you know, than uh, paintball. Give everyone GoPros. I think that's the idea. Give everyone GoPros, like stuff like that. You get Kuru? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe maybe we could uh, maybe we could roast somebody up. And uh, I'll call the local farmer to bring over his goats and uh, the sheep, and we'll have him just run around in the starting area. And you kill wolves with an airsoft gun? Uh, I mean, if you can do it with a 22, with an MK, maybe. <laughs> Respectfully, I don't think too many Daisy players would do too well IRL. I was thinking that as well, knocking nines. Like, I, I would be fine, personally. Like, I love that shit. <laughs> but there's some people, I I don't think they have it. I don't think they have it in them. This is fucking Daisy lights out in real life. All right? You don't know what it takes to survive out there. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> uh, where is everybody? It's so quiet down here. Human bones to fish. <laughs> you, can't, you, you shoot an enemy player and then you just start fucking cutting them up. <laughs> oh my god. Go to the actual needle like Adam did, so you really have to survive. Yeah, it'd be cool to do it in like actual Daisy event or like a Daisy location or something that somewhere in um, somewhere in like you know Ukraine or the Czech Republic or something. You know that'd be sick. I wish I went to that went to the needle with Adam and Brian and Ibzy and Ed. Like I I got invited, but I just dude the money like to go out there and like. Just, it was just too much at the time, but I wish I fucking went, man. Once in a lifetime opportunity right there. But hey, you get to live vicariously through the video. It's good enough, I guess. <laughs> I 
Well, Cabbage, this is like assuming that there's not a war happening, you know? Really anywhere that has like over a hundred acres of land and like abandoned factory buildings and shit like that, you know, and just like random shit. Like I feel like that'd be a really cool area to like set up an event like that. That's gonna be a lot of Ukraine after the war, sadly. Yeah, that's true. Hey, hey, you know, communities build back better than ever sometimes, so we'll see. Gotta be optimistic about it. Oh, shit. Actually, we'll use the M16. We could use the meat too, so let me figure out what I'm gonna do with my inventory before we blast the sucker away. We don't need the fishing stuff anymore. I think an EVR storm just started again. I might be wrong, but. I think I just heard it. Where are you? There you are. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, I have an Apsi on, too, don't I? Oh, no. It's just a beeper. <laughs> Another storm. Jeez. There we go. M16 got damaged on that. Another EVR, man. Wouldn't really even be worth it for us to go, but we do have an APSI, so we could kind of... We could go sit by the orb, kind of, a little bit. some people running in. Setting up a real war with real guns? Yeah, like an event. Oh, hey, 10 guys over here, 10 guys over there. Uh, real guns, real zombies running around. Um, good luck. <laughs> you're gonna have, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have like 15 last daisy streamers. <laughs> That's one way to take over the category. Just fucking mow down everyone else. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the stream snipes. <laughs> in a crate <laughs> set up shop inside of a shipping container somewhere got like a little gas lamp going got a little fucking george foreman grill like that's that's the move right there <laughs> just fucking oh man get some really good ideas here 
normal asking everyone's name. <laughs> he's, he's in the process of getting shot. He's like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> Yo, take it easy, Wookiees. Have a good night. Dude, I don't know what it is, but like all day I've had like this pressure like in my chest kind of. It's not very pleasant. And I don't know what it is. Maybe because I've been fucking up my sleep schedule so hard. And like changing my circadian rhythm or whatever it's called. Degen disorder, indigestion, uh, I don't know, something. Good to mosque servers, um, depends if you want a good chance at making it to Lancia or if you want to fight a lot of people on the way and probably not make it, but when you do it feels really good. <laughs> Take it easy nursing. But I'm becoming a cicada. <laughs> All right. Here, one sec, chat. I gotta go to the restroom real quick. Hopefully, no one sees us and blasts us. Right back. Okay. Thank you for protecting me. You know, I feel like odds are buttons not gonna get pressed. The south kind of feels a little quiet.
Yo, Air of the Pimp, coming in with the two months. Appreciate you, my man. Appreciate you, appreciate you. I think we're like 145 right now on our Partner Plus goal. Probably not, not going to make it there this month, but, uh, you know, I appreciate everyone's support regardless, dudes. Yeah, no button press. Check the deer stand for some ammo. Uh, fuck it. Uh, not the ammo type we need. Doesn't seem like a bad spot to cook up. She throw the gas mask on here real quick, or the filter. <clears throat> this just passed up a sewing kit. Look, I got like twelve. <laughs> nah, okay, I, I I have a decent amount already. We're we're, we're good. Still got my firefighter pants on. Do a stream where I eat everybody that I kill? I used to do cannibal runs every once in a while. So, I mean, I would, I'd consider it. Badly damaged. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Our apps is gonna get ruined when the storm hits. I mean, I guess we could run somewhere where it's not gonna get affected. We have the time. these last steaks to finish cooking real quick and then we're gonna get out of here
Jesus Christ. Where is Mr. Soup Man? Hello there. Got a suppressor for my SVD. Wait, I hit him. Just fucking ate that. Oh, it must have been an arm shot. Fuck. First shot missed. Second shot hit. <clears throat> Boy, I got lucky there. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Button could have maybe been pressed. Not really sure. That guy was coming from like a far way off. Like he was, he was coming from like over here by the heli or like military or something. Looking for me after the shots with the uh, M16 down there. The door looks like it's moving when the lighting hits. <laughs> That's fucking scary. <laughs> I was like, I was like, there's something behind the door. <laughs> Ooh, we got hit in the head by the wolf, I'm guessing.
we take the hit on the storm, go find ourselves electrical repair kit. Need that electrical kit, boy. I forgot you could fucking clip through this. <laughs> so cheeky. Ooh, battery. The guy with the AK probably went to research. bury something does the storm still damage it uh the storm doesn't damage any items that are on your character it only damages the uh apsi because it's being used for the stream for the stream sorry i was reading another message uh for the storm Jeez. <clears throat> so if you wear the apsi during a storm when it's happening and you're using it it'll get damaged like one tick at a time just because you're using it, and it's withstanding the electronic frequencies, I guess, or whatever it is. We gotta find ourselves so let's go bear kit though and i would love to hunt down that guy that's got the ak because that suppressor would be uh pretty nice pretty sure he had a regular ak suppressor on there only uh i had hit my first shot as well maybe we would have had it I mean, I guess the button could have maybe been pressed. But even with that, like, he would have barely had time to make it over there. Let's cross. We know he's got a Mosin as his, uh, as his long range gun. So if we hear a Mosin, we're going to chase. Maybe Madden, maybe, if we get lucky and happen to uh, 
stumble upon a spacesuit or something like that, perhaps. I feel like this guy though, like, I feel like he stayed for the storm, right, at research, but he probably left as soon as he woke up. See if we can find a lucky filament. Yeah, AK and the AUG AX suppressed are uh, pretty awesome. I think the AK-101 suppressed, <clears throat> probably one of my favorite guns. I don't know what it is about it, it's just super satisfying to use. Ooh, epoxy. Um, do we swap out the cargo pants? Probably not, because it's got worse insulation. Get out of here. What's your favorite weapon combo in the game other than the railgun? Um... So, I mean, it would probably be the AK-101 suppressed and the SVD. Um, just both lethal, you know, at all ranges. Like, the Lamas is great and all, don't get me wrong, but... There's a lot more mid-range encounters on mostly every other map on DayZ. And the mosque is just, like... You know, it's, there's tons of tight corners, close encounters, like... M4? Nah. I don't, uh... I'm not a big fan of the M4. Maybe how it used to be, the old recoil? Yeah. Pretty good. And it didn't have as fast of a fire rate? I liked it. Um... But I think they just broke the M4. NATO is jam city? Yeah. It didn't- it definitely didn't jam as much. 
back when uh shot a little bit slower. This wouldn't be a bad spot to hold. Wait for someone to go in there. Line them up. I gotta kill somebody that's coming from the north. Because the amount of ammo I have right now is pathetic. And I'm sure I could kill somebody that's running around with a bunch of 308, a bunch of 762 by 54 And I'm sure they've got it all. Really need an electrical repair kit. I suppose we should hit up the train. A lot of wolves up there. That, that might be AK guy. Multivitamins. Too heavy. <sighs> don't even have space for the filter right now. Don't need that extra steak. Off the bag for now. definitely sounded like they were on somebody that was like running towards needle or maybe they're heading into the valley for a2 or something <clears throat> and it's suppressed as well no loud shots killing the wolves Definitely that guy. But it's going to be hard to find him. His ability's starting to drop. He's suppressed. Might be too late by the time we do see him. You know, he might be... He might already know we're there. 
Just fucking light us up. Is so quiet. I haven't even heard anybody like mag dumping bears or anything like that either. Could have very well went to A2, you know, a lot of people's, you know, ideology behind, you know, A2 is that, oh, there's probably not going to be somebody there after a storm. <laughs> I heard there's bears in the area. Or no, I heard there's bear in the area. bear around here <laughs> yeah right <laughs> no way man <laughs> we probably will do a little bit of tarkov tonight before we end stream <laughs> I don't know if we'll do some questing or if uh, we'll just go on streets with a MP7 and a sniper and just hunt people down. I don't know. I still got. I still. I, I might just loot and loot and shoot. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. I take it you play a lot of uh, Tarkov, bro, man. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> That's good. No, it's a great game, man. Um, it, I think it's with Tarkov, right? And or like any game is that if there are stashes involved and like grinding a character like for value and the stuff you find is like in the game like it literally just turns into war z all over again where people are buying accounts people are buying stuff people are cheating to get ahead you know like it's like it, there's a reason why daisy you don't see that many people cheating well for one it's you know community servers but it's just there's really no incentive to cheat on a game like this and that's the beauty of it too your shots <laughs> oh 
Opatkia. I love the voice line that the scavs do when like it's really really long one it literally lasts like 20 30 seconds and they're just fucking going off <laughs> I love it <clears throat> I used to run around as a scav on like interchange and just spam my voice lines until that one hit and then I was satisfied. <laughs> Super long one is a quote from a movie. Oh really Mandy? Not sure if it's still in the game. You know that's a good point because I don't think I've heard it at all this point. I wonder if it was like a some sort of like copyright issue or something or if they just got rid of it because it was just savage it's still in oh i mean i haven't even heard it this wipe yet that's the crazy thing and i have uh, i have been running around with many scavs I've been killing many scavs. The one where the scav just rants for like 10 seconds or whatever, right? Maybe. I think I think that's the one. Like 10, 15 seconds, maybe even 20. It's pretty long. It feels like 20 seconds. <laughs> Blood in Concrete is the movie that it's from. Okay, okay. I'm um, assuming it's a Russian movie. I did not stamp on snow. <laughs> that, that, no. <laughs> I did not. That was a lie right there. Must have just been a glitch. Snow don't lie. <laughs> Be right. Ruining your boots faster? What's your boots are Saw somebody? fucking zombie or person
See if they run. This is terrifying. <laughs> it's going on Dexical. I think it's when I threw that flash. I didn't hear a zombie like running around reacting. Yep. Vouchers. Oh fuck, I get I'm getting stuck on the fucking stairs.
Something just went in that shed. I don't know if it was a zombie or a person, though. Doors are really low, Ryan. <laughs> They're definitely very low. See if we can see anything. Maybe we saw a dead zombie. But only one. One dead zombie. everybody dude Listen here for a minute. It's a lonely surviving out there. Oh shit, our gun. He's dead. That guy wasn't very geared. <laughs> he 
He's most definitely dead. Might have ammo for us. I think we gotta go down and kill all the zombies and then go check his body. Three LAR mags, honestly, probably. We can get to his body without touching snow. He's got our 308 that we need, and electrical repair kit, and a f what the fuck? That was on Tara. <clears throat> oh, the sawed-off shoddy. <laughs> Legend. have the blaze about to empty the bullets out of it and uh chuck that son of a bitch out of here oh it's not our uh it's not ak suppressed guy but Still a good find, regardless. I think we gotta get rid of the M16, though. Might, might be about that time. Maybe go find ourselves a Lamas to use. Wait, we could use these pants, actually. Where would you use a Lamas instead of the LAR? Uh, close range and on like zombies and bears and shit. I, I just don't have a lot of 308. But I want to get something that's a little more useful than the uh, M16.
Let's go ahead and pick up the Apsy real quick. Going on, Chancale. Short ammo makes sense. I thought that the stun lock with the LAR would make it great for short range. It's it's pretty good for short range. Don't get me wrong. Um, but the Lamas dude just puts out so many bullets. And it's so much easier to control than the LAR. It's kind of ridiculous. But if you can hit someone with that first shot. With the LAR. You'd be in good shape, you know. Ooh, Pox might actually come in handy. Gonna use M16 real quick to clear out these zombies. It'd be a dream if we found an AK-101 with a mag in it, though. That would be, that'd be like best case scenario for us right now. K74 again. S Val. More ammo. What's S-Val good for? Um, for shredding people's armor that are pretty close to you. Um, but I don't think it's a good, like, head-on encounter type of gun because it has, like, no knockout power. It's just straight up, like, shredding your armor, and that's... It's, I mean, it's a pretty good gun, don't get me wrong. But I think it could use a little more. It's good for zombies, yeah. Good for zombies, good for wolves. Speaking of wolves, I see a pack of three over on the other mountain. Hard to find Val ammo. Eh, yeah, 9x39 can be a little bit rough to find. It's not very hard to find on the mosque, but it is pretty difficult to find, I think, on like Trenaris and Livonia. I know they're moving the Val down a tier and like the VSS, but it was just weird. For the longest time, they had like the S Val and the VSS only like able to be found at heli crashes. So you would assume that it's meant to be, like, on the same tier as, like, you know, an M4 or an AUG or, you know, something like that.
Another EVR. Boop, beep, boop. Mm, let's wrap around the backside. And we're going to look into the valley of A2 and see if we can catch anybody. Trying to go to the orb. I didn't get those color matching pouches. <laughs> yeah, all, that's, all that matters is the drip. Like we could go back in to get like an O2 tank, maybe. Then we already have a blueprint. I mean, we're we're, we're partially we're partially on the way there for the suit. What happened to the stuff you hid? Um, that is on a different server. And who knows, it might be gone for all we know, but it's not on this server, I'm pretty sure. Barson coming in with the 21 months of prime. Appreciate you, dude. It's going well. It's going well. Thirsty for blood, but, um, yeah, just, just looking for people, man. I feel like I'd be more inclined to jump in to A3 if we had a better light source. time catching your stream shame you've got such horrible weapons <laughs> welcome it all out or alley out what do we got down there Ah, oh, wolves. They're just chilling. Hmm. I bet you. I bet you anything. That button hasn't been hit yet. There's a bear in the valley too. Yeah, dude, no, nobody's been through here yet. Got wolves on one side of the valley, bear on the other. There ain't no way. Answer is a sub run. 
I mean, we do need a key card if we want to make a suit. I don't know. I would probably try to get all the filaments first if I were to do that. Because we already have batteries, dude, for the suit. If I were to shoot the bear from here, uh, if I were to shoot it enough times, it would aggro over this way. The first shot, it probably wouldn't, but if I were to do like two or three more shots, um, it, it, it would probably recognize where I was and ran all the way to me. You know you want to press the button, it's calling you. get in there so late that's the problem let's go see if the button's been pressed though i'll, I'll entertain that we'll take a little peek No button press. Damn, dude, the storms have been like super, super consistent. It's actually kind of wild. It almost makes me think that the guy that's there's a guy in there just running back and forth, like grabbing a new surge and like spawn cycling it and starting another storm. Yeah, we're getting one like every hour, every like 45 minutes, something like that. Wild, very consistent. three or four tonight yeah i think it's number four Another electrical repair kit. We actually might need that in a second. Ooh, 
hacksaw. Damn, if only we had found a Lamas. Days waiting hours for a storm. Ah, uh, no, nah, it's because it's it's definitely super random. But at, le at least today, <laughs> at least today, it's been a very plentiful day when it comes to storms. I'm gonna go around the other side of the train. That guy camping the ladder the other night was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. He, um... Pr I'm pretty sure he got killed by, like, a suit guy that was inside of there. Because I'm... Because we, we... We think we ran into him a little while ago when we were inside of A3. I wonder if, like, it sounded like him, but then again, just like a generic white guy, they all kind of sound the same. <laughs> Unless someone's got, like, a radio voice or something. It did kind of sound like him. Tell a racist man. <laughs> Look, I can say it because I'm a white guy. I'm a generic white guy. All right. And plus, it's not a negative connotation to it anyway. Um, yeah, he, he did sound scared. He, for, for being in such a powerful angle, he, he was quite scared. And with a FAMAS, no less. Like, it's not like the dude had like a bolt action fucking Mosin or something. Like, dude had a LAMAS. Just one lap. <laughs> About to get our cardio in, boys and joys. Out to get our cardio in. I am going to, however, strip down the M16 for its ammo. Part of me wants to keep the 60 round mag. Like, like, what if we get a suit and then, like, go to Lancia and get, like, an AUG or something, right? But then again, like... That's, that's a lot of time, and that's a lot of time carrying around a 2x3 fucking magazine when we barely will have space as is. 
So... Never mind. We're going to strip the ammo out. You get a 60 round mag in Lancia, just keep the ammo. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even know those were in Lancia. You drop the M16, what do you have for a zombie gun? This bad boy. Although, we need to find some more 22, but that shouldn't be too hard on Tara. Actually, go ahead and repair the 22 while we've got some downtime here. Chat, what, what does indigestion feel like? How do I know if I have it? <laughs> Any doctors in the chat? Like your chest is burning? Kind of? It's like just an uncomfortable feeling. I literally just have like an uncomfortable like pressure in my chest. Um, oh, I, my stomach doesn't hurt, so it's not that. Actually, if anything, I feel kind of hungry. How much water are you drinking? Not enough. Let me uh let me get a little bit further down the bridge here. Now I'm actually gonna go fill up my water. Like I don't have like any other symptoms aside from the fact that my chest feels a little weird. Bloating, burning upon eating, gurgling stomach, sharp planes, irregular stool, etc. Uh, I think I have none of those. Maybe the stool thing. Because, uh, I, I don't know. I think it has to do with my sleep schedule and, like, how much I've been, like, just absolutely fucking it. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I think that's it. Still worn after that. Okay, impressive. It almost feels like it's... Not necessarily my chest, but like right below my sternum. Were you sick recently? Done a lot of coughing? I mean, that was a while ago. I've, I've felt fine since. And I'm only 25. stones I, I don't even know what that is try not to eat late dude <laughs> okay you know what this is operation fix dystopian okay we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go to bed at reasonable times we're gonna wake up early we're gonna become an eu streamer um what else Fix this therapy. <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna 
We're gonna wake up. Go to the gym. Get a nice sauna in. You sweat it all out. And then we just act like nothing ever happened. It's probably Kuru. Hey, you're right. Oh, fuck off. Green pouches. Ooh, Gauscope. I don't know. I was low-key thinking about maybe trying to get like a routine schedule in to where like we're waking up you know around like 8 or 9 a.m and then going to the gym and then coming back and uh and, and streaming after and then try to have like a a normal schedule, maybe. I don't know, that might be a long shot. <laughs> Gallstones, Captain Fantastic? Okay. I mean, it's not like a con constant thing, though. It's like, it, it just started happening. It's not like I, I deal with it every day or something. More water, more stretching, better food. Probably the solution. Astroesophical reflux disease. Posture check. Uh, actually, I was I was doing pretty good. I, I didn't really even have to adjust that much. <laughs> Surprisingly, sometimes I'll catch myself like leaning forward like three feet. Maybe this is why I need a camera whenever I stream. So you guys can correct me if I'm, I'm fucking up my posture. <laughs> yeah, routine is good. I just, I don't know, I, I feel like I need a routine because my body is just not been happy with me lately. And I think it's just due to the fact that, like, I've been staying up for crazy hours, going to bed at random times, like... Just have a redeemable on channel points. Oh yeah, like the hydrate one? Yeah, that would be good. That's a good idea. Like, I mean, dude, like, last stream, like, I, I did not go to bed after the stream. I, and I went to bed the next day at, like, 11 p.m. It's because the, cause the day that I did stream last, I woke up at, like, 6 p.m., went live at, like, 8 or 9 or something like that. Got off at, like, 4 or 5 a.m. 
and then I ended up staying out. In reality, I could have streamed, I guess, but I was just like a total zombie. I was literally just silently playing Tarkov on my lonesome. Just so I could uh, try to fix my sleep schedule. Went to bed at like 11 p.m., woke up today at like 8 a.m., and, that, and, I, and I just felt weird. So I think I just got to keep trying to wake up at like a reasonable time, sometime before noon, <laughs> and I think I'll be good. Full degen, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, undoubtedly. I am a full-time degenerate, that's for sure. It's so hard to like not stay on the PC and like play games and like have something to do, you know? I think as long as you exercise a bit every day, you should be all right. Exercise is very important to stay healthy. I sleep whenever I want. I don't eat late, but I, but my work is physical. Yeah, I mean, I think the healthiest I ever felt in my life was when I was working. Uh, we were working at like a, we were, basically we were doing a whole renovation on a old folks like retirement home, taking it from being old to like new and fancy and shit. Um, and every day, waking up at 6 a.m., working until, like, 4 or 5 p.m., and then going to the gym literally straight after work, and then coming home. And, like, it was just, it was a good, it was routine, and it felt good. You're working and having fun. Nothing wrong with that. Just adding a good structure and workout routine. Yeah, I think that'll be, uh, I think that'll be the saving grace. This, this is the day. This, this is the day that the schedule becomes somewhat... No okay, maybe not today, because it's already 2 a.m. And I still want to stream a little bit of Tarkov, maybe later. <laughs> or maybe I should just be responsible. And go to bed. <laughs> nah, fuck that. I'm a degenerate. Who cares? All this advice y'all been giving? <laughs> Win one ear, out the other. Alright, where's this Funkin' Phil been at? There's always tomorrow. Exactly. There's always tomorrow. filaments probably on the mainland at like a uh, military or something like that touch up the old boots so again heard that jimmy so i can still be a degenerate i just have to exercise and eat better and, and drink water
You mean stream stress, agent? <laughs> Take it easy, cat. Have a good one. <laughs> Don't become a degenerate like me. You're always so good about going to bed at a good time. <laughs> Alright, actually give me one second. I am gonna go actually fill up my water real quick. And then we're gonna fucking chug that shit. We'll do a little bit of stretching. And then we continue. One sec, we're back. All right. some salt with that much water <laughs> one liter of water every two hours <laughs> that might be a little bit of a stretch Alright, 
That's enough stretching for me. Let's go shoot some people, find some filaments, make a spacesuit, go to Lancia. Should get those no handed push ups in? Ah, already done. Just busted out 100 push ups. And, uh, yeah, ready to go. Uh, 100 push ups, 200 squats, um, 300 sit ups, uh, all in the matter of a couple minutes. Jumping in? Oh fuck, I don't have stamina to do this. I don't have jumping stamina. No. I gotta drop some shit. And drop the half used kit. I guess we could drop the electrical one for now. I mean, I feel like we're gonna need it, but um, that might give us the stamina we need. Nope. All right, I just feel silly now. Give me my stuff back. <laughs> Fatty? Hey, I am very self-conscious, Roger, okay? Do not talk about my weight like that. We, we all get enough cardio by watching your character run. <laughs> that's right. That's a, a, I see, I get my steps in every day. Do the doctor didn't specify where I had to do them, you know. You know how much I get called slim in my life. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I had, I had a friend. Oh, red filament. Never mind. I don't have any friends. Um. No, uh, there was this guy that uh, worked with us, um, and his name was Slim. And the thing is, though, he was he he, he was not Slim. <laughs> so it just it just felt a little weird. Oh, and I'm Slim. Oh, and my chat dis disappeared. Uh huh. My chat on my OBS is now just a white square. Interesting. I'm assuming you guys could still hear me and everything and see the stream because that's still up. Eh, whatever. Red filament. Let's see if we can find some more. I have to like open and close this like chat box or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. One sec. That's still white. I don't know. Just pull up my dashboard.
only five sewing kits and not impressed. Smoke is behind you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> A lot has happened. <laughs> <laughs> the matter of me not seeing the chat. <clears throat> does the visor do anything? Uh, it only does anything when an EVR storm happens. And it's like the way you stay awake during an EVR storm. Um, if you're not, uh, if you're not like underground inside of like a bunker like A2 or something like that. We're really just wearing it right now because it helps us like inventory space wise not to have it at sitting in our inventory. Aesthetics is very healthy for you, yeah. I think the closest thing to Cal aesthetics I did was like hit training, which is very, very different, but same realm and in like intensity. be a zombie on the other side of this wall. Yep. Kettlebells are great. Oh, yeah, dude. Love kettlebells. Something you guys may not know about me. Um, I used to... For those of you that are in the States, and there's some clubs in Canada, but I used to work for Lifetime Fitness as, like, a member services specialist, and, like, dude, I abused the fuck out of that free membership. Expensive gym, very nice gym, but dude, totally, totally worth it. I mean, I didn't pay for it, obviously, but. But dude, they had everything there, you know? So like, it was just a luxury <laughs> working there and having those options. Love their steam rooms. Yeah, dude, their steam rooms are great because they've got the eucalyptus that gets mixed in with the steam. Mm, God damn. Every time I was sick or had a cold or felt a little bit under the weather, or I just went straight in there. I felt like a new man when I left. Got the red one. Just need a blue and an orange. Daisy VR might give a workout. Daisy VR, the stream would be one hour long. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be over before it even began. That's a good lighter right there. This little replacement. Resistance machines, yeah. I think like negative resistance when it comes to uh like working out and like your sets and everything is very good for you. Very good for your muscles as well. Well, that's really what I mean. Oh, 
like if you want to boost the strength that you're getting and like you know strengthen your tendons your ligaments whatever it is <clears throat> going slow on like your your down or like your, your your negative movement when it comes to like doing reps very good for you god dude just talking about all this and really makes me want to get back in the gym i've been wanting to for a little while but Need to. Oh, it's coming on, says. <laughs> How you doing today, man? Isometrics are good, too. Yep. Like, and, uh, I don't know, some people might say I'm bullshitting, but, uh, bench press, like, barbell bench press, like, going heavy with it, absolutely pointless. It's terrible for you. So, just use some dumbbells, use some kettlebells or something, use some machines. Don't fuck yourself up. <laughs> the sewing kits. We're not going to stop until we fill our inventory with sewing kits. This is the way. I need a, uh, I need a, I need a double filament double up here at uh, construction. A number, uh, number two, please. AKA a blue and a orange. Incline is best. Incline's pretty good for you, yeah. I mean, there's there's benefits to doing incline, decline, regular. But incline, you will notice the the most difference. Yeah, Roger, exactly. And like you know, when you're working out and stuff, guys. I mean, like you got to swap it up, right? You got to stimulate the body. You got to do things that it's not used to to grow and prosper. I know some guys that like they'll work out really hard for like two hours and then they'll skip three days of working out and then work out again and like they they have massive gains <laughs> my natural bodybuilder friend tore a pack with barbell bench yeah dude i mean it's just it, it's just not good for you like everything from your chest to your wrists and like your elbows like it's just it's just not good for you Shock of the muscles. That's right, it says. Uh, that's true, propped, but like, I okay, I, I let me, let me, uh, like I said, let me rephrase it, I guess. Barbell bench is good until you get to too heavy of weight. Then it honestly, I don't think it's safe by any means. Like, when you start throwing up, like, 400 pounds on bench, like, you, you really gotta, like, start being careful with that shit. And I guess if you're, like, smaller and you're trying to throw big weight, like, you stay in your ballpark, you know, you should be relatively okay. But yeah, you're right, Propped. Most of it is probably form. But, I mean, uh, ever since I can remember, I've always been an advocate for just doing dumbbells. You know what I mean? Maybe it was because when it came to, like, baseball, like, all of our weightlifting and conditioning, we never did barbell. We only ever used dumbbells because we they wanted to strengthen our shoulders all at the same time and everything, yada, yada, yada. Um, but overall, it's probably just healthier. Do a moderate amount of weight. I'm not trying to be on Jim Fails video. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I used to go pretty heavy when it came to like my deadlifts and squats. And I mean, that's I don't think that's terrible for you if you're doing too much weight that you know too more than more than you can handle. Then yeah, it's not good. But squats are I think are great for you. I think deadlifts are 
questionable. I think it depends uh, how much weight you're doing and what your form's like. I think a lot of it does just come down to form. End of the day. Ooh, black pants. Uh, we'll keep the waterproof pants. I see something on the ground here. I think I'm just tripping. Got one cut right now. We gotta get into a container or something. <clears throat> Good morning, IDK. How you doing today, my man? No, let's take the, uh... Where is this? Let's go ahead and disinfect a bunch of the stuff that we got, like all these sewing kits and everything. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Rob, I think that's plenty to run DayZ. Maybe, and you know, like try to like optimize your settings a little bit, but I think that's more than enough, man. I was streaming DayZ with an i7 and then a uh, 1070, <clears throat> which is obviously a lot more intensive. Seen any action since the crossbow kill? Uh, yeah, we killed somebody, uh, up at the candy cane. Or needle, whatever you want to call it. Excited for the new SVAL mags. Oh yeah, the 3D round mags for the uh, SR3M. I just hope they come out with a suppressor for the gun. Don't think it would be get a little laggy at times. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> Definitely don't try to like record or anything like that. But I think that is more than enough to play some Daisy and put the settings on a lower setting. Because I, I used to play Daisy on a i5 1070, you know, and the game really hasn't changed much since. So. Oh, I thought that was an epoxy for a second. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, oh, detonator. Nah, I'm already hoarding enough, honestly.
so many sewing kits. <laughs> okay, it's a little ridiculous. Seems like the blue and orange might just have to be found on the mainland. We'll do like a backwards lap. <clears throat> See if maybe we get lucky. Maybe someone like grabbed one um, on the mainland somewhere and like now there's one spawned over here or something. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to check out the hospital though. Not really for filaments, more so for getting ourselves like EpiPens and things of that nature. We have one EpiPen, one Morphine, one Pox. Oh no, we have two EpiPens. I don't know, we're, we're kind of doing okay. I might not eat, I, I really don't need to go over there. Mm, yeah, let's not. I don't think you can even find the filaments at the hospital anyway. <clears throat> Goodness, Rhino. <clears throat> that just sounds painful. Hmm. There's already zombies over there. And I'm... I feel like I'm pretty far away. Fuck it. Let's go down there and find out. It's getting really dark as well, so I'll give you guys some gamma here. shit. can't see into these trees with how dark it is. <clears throat> Just 
definitely someone nearby, though. The fire just went out, so they... It seems like they may have already left, but... I don't know which direction they went. I don't know if they went back up to construction where we were, or if they went this way. Kind of explains why the zombies respond in now. Yeah, there's the fire, and some drop stuff next to it. so dark went on the ice she maybe I don't know this seems kind of far away the fire to be going to the ice Oh, I can't see shit. Where's my head torch? Oh, fuck. There we go. Imagine there's someone in here just watching me run around with this zombie. <laughs> See if the OBS thing chat is back up. Oh, no, it's not. It's so weird. <laughs> uh. 
That's so weird. <clears throat> What do the three bars on the left mean? I know the bottom one is stamina. So, basically, top one, frost resist. You know, your ability to sit in the cold without getting cold. Um, and then this other one is like a soft skill type thing. You know, whether your character has been leaning more toward, you know, like sewing kits and like maintaining things and, you know, whatever else. Versus like hardware stuff like building bases and shit like that. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what that is. Pretty sure it's like a soft skill thing. Yeah, we got a kit. We're good. Sorry, I've been missing a few, but uh, Rob, Jerry, and Profile, thank you guys for the follows. Welcome in. That bar's weird. I heard if it goes far left, you can repair stuff to pristine. Really? <clears throat> yeah, I just heard it was like a soft skill thing. That like made certain things like faster. But, um... Very cool. If you could do that. It takes forever? Oh, I'm sure it takes forever. Your character's been alive since 4000 BC. Just fucking sewing shit together. Still doesn't have the trait to make clothing pristine. <clears throat> That wasn't locked last time, right? Or was it? No, it was, because we went through that other door. So there's definitely somebody here on the island, but we have yet to run into them. We ran into their fire. <clears throat> but that is the closest we've gotten so far. I heard it lets you have more uses on your kits. That could also be true. I don't know. I, 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 maybe there's a Wobo video on it or something, but...
Ah, oh, shit. Just running the LAR and SVD now? Yeah, for now. <clears throat> Plus we got the MK. But we're actually pretty sure we're just about to run out of shots for the 22, so... It's about to get a little rough. The cliffhanger on your video is fucking despicable, by the way. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? That's, that's like my first attempt on, like, <clears throat> making a cliffhanger. And it worked out pretty well, man. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty I was pretty happy with it. One's part two. I'm gonna try to probably edit tomorrow and maybe get part two finished up. <clears throat> and then probably try to release it like Friday or something. I don't know if there's somebody here or not, but if they are, they can get it. Zombies, no people. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I don't think starting with the whole like ladder guy was probably the best move on that video. People start it and they're like, uh, whatever, it's just some guy in a spawn town fucking fight trying to get a guy that's up on a ladder, you know? But I just, I feel like it needed that context with Wade and everything like that. Like, it, yeah. videos are difficult, all right? I, I, I give YouTubers the props for make, being able to do it. Especially after making it all the way through. Oh, yeah.
in the next part, and then <clears throat> I don't know if there's going to be... There might be three parts. <clears throat> I don't know how much I can crunch the next, like, ten hours of footage. <laughs> so... <laughs> We'll see. probably what I'll do like I, I know like editing and like being off the stream and everything like takes away from like being on the stream and like making money and stuff but gotta pump out the YouTube man you know gotta gotta get the videos rolling gotta give uh gotta give it some love so <clears throat> EVR storm. Yeah, another EVR storm. Oh, I wish we knew where that guy was. We could app see him inside of a building. Christmas run with Adam when you were dressed as Santa would have been a great YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good one. I feel like there's so many runs we've had recently that would be great videos, but <clears throat> part of me also hasn't been like taking those and like clipping them because, you know, like the issue that we had with the last video is like, I stream. I used to stream in like 900p, right? And but it, it doesn't let you upscale. You can only downscale to like 720. So the quality, because of Twitch and the bitrate and all that, it's kind of poo poo. But now it's 1080, so it's a little bit better, you know. And uh, also work on. Uh, Figuring out recording and all that good stuff. I think I got to get myself another drive before I start recording. YouTube stream. True. I wonder if I YouTube stream, if it, it'll record it all too, right? So I could totally stream on YouTube at the same time. And then just make the YouTube videos out of that. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. Then I wouldn't have to record. I'd, I'd be getting great bitrate because YouTube actually has a good bitrate. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad idea. Do you have a capture card? Uh, in my old PC, I have a Elgato, like 4K60 or whatever it's called. I just haven't taken it out. I, I, I really didn't even use it, though. That's the thing. I literally bought that thing and then I didn't even use it. It's just sitting in the PC collecting dust. Capture card or make recording your VOD irrelevant. Footage will be way better. Uh, why do you why do you say that? The only reason the footage is rough is because the bit rate that Twitch allows is max like six seven k. Are you saying a capture card like to record stuff or just to to stream it? Capture card to record, yeah. Are these all the zombies I left in here earlier? 
No way they're all still in here. What? It'll capture your native input and not the video going through OBS, so it's quite a bit better. You have more control over the video in the end. I mean, even when I record with just OBS, like, it's... The quality's great. It's just I don't have, like, a, a big, uh... A big drive to constantly record the VODs on, because, dude, I mean, shit, like... One VOD is, like, 20, 30 gigs or some shit. Like, I don't know the exact amount, but... It's kind of ridiculous. Will you travel to the submarine? I can find the other colored filaments like I got the red one right here there's a green one and a uh, not a green one a blue one and an orange one if I could find those I would go to the sub yeah what else suppressor we don't have duct tape though right I thought there was an EVR storm. <laughs> what the fuck happened to that? <laughs> I guess it was just ambience. It must have been. I dude, I thought I totally heard an EVR. <laughs> it just canceled itself. It's like, yeah, sorry, never mind. We're not doing it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Pop a multivitamin. Just, just goes for the hell of it. Oh, there is Northern Lights. Yeah, you're right. I could have swore I heard it. Maybe I'm just going insane. Yeah, I'm probably just going insane. for all the mysterious noises. Another bottle here. Yeah, we would have bottle suppressors for days. 
if we had duct tape. I don't really feel like backtracking for more. The zombie's stuck inside the building. <laughs> See you later, Bine. Get some rest, man. Turn into a degenerate just like me. so close to running into that guy on Tara literally got up to his fire as it was going out and just, just didn't see him as we were passing you know maybe okay one of two options or I guess three right he could have made the swim to go make a suit or do whatever I don't I don't know um he could have been looking for the blueprint uh with the uh, lifeboats he could be running along the coast right or he could have went up to construction where we were just at before we had ran into his fire. Well, I guess he also could have been in front of us at docks and like kept going and we just haven't caught up to him and I never did. But I don't know. So many possibilities. Always a sketchy little walk over that part. All right, so no EVR. I just keep, I keep thinking I'm hearing it, probably because of all the random ambient noises, but, and probably because there's been so many storms tonight. <laughs> or logged because it's night. Uh, I, I mean, I guess, I guess you could have logged out, but. Dude, people don't really log out because it's night on this server because they're not getting back in, you know, unless it's like the next restart or maybe, oh no, he could have gotten off for the day, you know, I guess you're right. The possibilities are endless. enough stamina to jump if we wanted to. Nope. Yeah, we might have to shed some weight.
We just want some vitamins for our space suit. You know, we never heard any, uh... Lantia music, like for the sandstorm. So... Maybe the guy that had the spacesuit. Um, if there even was a guy with the spacesuit, right? I guess it like totally could have been a bug, and we just randomly heard that noise, which would be kind of weird. But if that were the case, um, I don't know. Maybe he logged out in there. Maybe he went to Lantia and got stuck in there and <laughs> just stayed. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I like the possibilities are endless. <sighs> Another AK-101 Mac. Oh, that would actually be so nice if we found an AK-101. Suck. What the fuck? What a weird spot to get into a fight. I like this spot because they're kind of forced to run over the snow if they do cross over this way. Probably a few gaps here and there, but... <clears throat> Not exactly sure which way they're thinking about going. Could back up and swing around, maybe. See if we can get some eyes on something. Puts us lower. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't really feel like pushing that in the trees. Dude's already got an AK, though. Maybe he goes to the bridge. here for like two minutes to see if this guy maybe pushes up see so if he goes across the bridge we'll epi and we'll run Jesus Christ <laughs> this 
Guy's fucking fighting bears, people, everything. Well, that has him going towards your forensic industrial. A pop and epi. Get some speed. We just got to be aware for any third parties, or even him. He was moving pretty quick, but not even sure if uh, <clears throat> he stopped for that bear or if he just kept moving. Explosive. Ooh. Oh yeah, we'll turn game off. <clears throat> there we go. Those wolves seem to have been dealt with.
another red one. Can't jump. Fuck the electrical repair kit. Uh, and all the sewing kits. <laughs> Little fix on the boots. Damn. Too bad it wasn't an orange. I gotta go to the restroom real quick. Beer pack. Hopefully you don't get blasted. Head back. We gotta check some more train carts, a couple more containers, and then we're gonna get out of here.
DDR storm. I just say fuck it. They just go for it. <laughs> See if we can score ourselves a uh, O2 tank while we're inside there. And then jump out onto the ice, maybe. Is it possible to get the filament spawn at A2? Oh wait, you know what?
Well. <coughs> uh, why does that shit always happen to us? R.I.P. <laughs> we broke it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gonna be a rough place to log back into as well. Yeah, dude, like second floor, like right in the middle of it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Why does this little shit always happen to us? All right, well. Let's see. Oh, well, I was going to swap over to Tarkov, but it says game is unavailable. The patch installation has begun. The installation will probably take approximately three hours. So... Yeah. I guess we have to call it there. Damn. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. I don't wanna. I don't wanna leave. Pal world, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, it has been a absolute fucking pleasure. Thank you everyone for coming, chilling, hanging, showing your support. Um, rough, that's the way it goes, but we have, uh, you know, a pretty stacked character to look forward to next time we hop on, and we'll more than likely find that last filament and uh, go make the spacesuit. So, uh, yeah, make sure you uh, stay looking at the Discord, the Twitter, and uh, stay updated when we go live. That's usually where we post. But, uh, yeah, thank you everyone for coming out, hanging out. And uh, hope everyone has a beautiful Wednesday. I may or may not be streaming later. Um, it's, it, it's, I don't know, we'll see. I might be editing a video, the part two for the most recent one. But yeah, love you guys. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Later.